for me. He went for me. He went for me. All the way to Calvary he went for me. And now he sets me free. Although I have so many, many sins, Jesus washed them all away, and he poured on me. Although I have so many, many sins, Jesus washed them all away, and he poured on me all the way to Calvary went for me he went for me he went for me all the way to Calvary went for me and now he sets me free although I have so many many sins Jesus washed them all away and he poured on me Although I had so many, many sins, my Jesus washed them all away, and he poured on me. All the way to Calvary he went for me. He went, I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Greeting as one. As you come in, you shear. Listen carefully. As you come in, you shear. Now, today, it's a little bit different. Amen. We're just going to go for three hours. Amen. So, we're going for three hours. So, the longest I'm going to stay is for one o'clock. The longest I'm going to stay, one o'clock. So, as you come in, you shear. Please, as you come in, you shear. Praise the Lord. So, what I'm going to do from now on, is to do like a seminar where I come on and do three hours and then I break giving you the opportunity to do something like freshen up and so likewise myself and then I will take it on again from I will set the time I don't know as yet but um it will be two session in one day all right so I will come on now from okay 9 to 9 30 all right don't hold me at 9 30 because there are some stuff that i have to do sometime for instance i was doing some showing at the house a while ago amen i was cleaning up and washing up plate and everything pastor you wash plate yes <laughs> my house i meet out of the plate them too <laughs> amen so i wash those things so i get them done amen so 9 to 9 30 that's when i'm going to come on so if you don't see me nine o'clock please 9 30 i'm going to be here Amen. So I get that out of the out of the um the way. But what I want to do is to do two segment. The reason for this is very simple. I do six hours, seven hours, and then I have to be getting up, running to the bathroom and leaving the, 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 the platform unattended. And I don't want to do that anymore. So what I'm going to do, Amen, is to do a three hour session, then break. And then go and freshen up and then come back again. Do the second session and show that is what I'm going to do from now on. Amen. So for those of you that are on the live, go ahead and tap up the TikTok live. Amen. Go ahead and tap up the TikTok live. You know what I don't understand though? Most of the persons, listen carefully. When you don't understand biblical principle, you are going to find yourself in problem. What am I saying? When God do something for you, you fit talk. 
When God does something for you, you have to talk. Some persons get them blessing. Some person get them healing. And they refuse to give a testimony. And that is the part where we can't understand. When you did need help, you come to God. And you say, God, 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 God. And God give you the miracle. And when you're supposed to tell him thanks now, then it is a problem. Now, that seems ungrateful to me. All right? And we need to be careful. All right? We need to be careful. I am just saying, I am just saying, if you ask God for something, no, take God out of the middle. If your child asks you for something, you are going to feel appreciated when the child said thank. Thank you, mommy. Thank you, daddy. Amen. You're going to feel appreciated. Why? Because you feel good within yourself to know, say, you even though you're obligation to care for the child, but you feel good to know, say, the child appreciate it. Well, the same way it is with God. A lot of person thinks that God is just a, a mere... Um, um, uh, people want to believe that God is an object. Well, God is not an object. God is a person. A spirit can be a person. Of course, a spirit is a person. A spirit of emotion. What we need to understand is very simple. God is a spirit. Just like how we are a spirit. The Bible said that we were created in His image. So we are for a spirit being. Have you ever been down, depressed, hurt? Well, God feels the same way. Because the Bible said that whenever we sin against Him, the heart of God hurt Him. Uh, I can tell you when your heart hurt you. Amen. Trust me. I can tell you that. I remember loving a woman before. And when the woman left, man, I feel like I got dead. Have you ever been there? Have you ever felt that way before? When the woman left, you feel like you got dead. The whole world fall apart. Listen to me. Me not even want to eat and drink. You better me dead. Well, that's the way that God feels when we sin against Him and when we do not appreciate Him by telling Him thanks. So today's topic is a God of vengeance. Amen. A God of vengeance, today's topic. Now, what is so beautiful about this topic is because God is a God that cannot lie. Based upon the book of Numbers, chapter 23, verse 19 to 23, it said, God is a God. God is not a God. That the God is not a, a man that he should lie. All right? He cannot lie. Anything where God say, I will him a God do. All right, with all that said and done, amen. Greetings, everyone. I greet you again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Sophia Wallace on Facebook, go ahead and share the program, woman of God. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So, Sophia is the only one I'm seeing on Facebook right now. Uh, I don't know if anybody else is there, but she's the only one I'm seeing on Facebook right now. I'm seeing 23 persons on. 22 person to be exact on um, TikTok. Go ahead and share. And for those of you who have not yet um, uh, subscribed to the YouTube channel, I'm asking you just to just go over there and subscribe to the YouTube channel for those of you that would have already subscribed. Because me ask, so now I, me ask some persons and them run go over there to subscribe and I just want to thank you. They say the number go up. <laughs> Amen. So I just want to thank you. Amen. So um, I'm going to be honest with you. But for those of you that are here, I'm just going to give you some time to go ahead and share the program. Amen. Listen to me. Today we are going to do some stuff. Amen. And I want you to call in. Amen. Go ahead and call in and share the program. So today is a little bit different. Today is a little bit different. And the reason why I said that is a little bit different today is because you can now call in on WhatsApp. <laughs> <laughs> so today is a little bit different so for those of you who would like to call in on whatsapp praise the lord the phone is now available the phone is now free amen because i would have been blessed amen to 
have a computer amen i don't know as yet how to go and tick tock with the computer i mean i work out the part there yet mister you know say your computer is just as smart as you amen trust me you the computer is very smart you know but without you having the knowledge the computer is as dumb as you so the computer is not brighter than you you listen carefully if you don't have it right the computer don't have it right either amen now for those of you that are hearing me good on TikTok and facebook if you're not hearing any noise in the background no loud noise in the background just give me an amen give me an amen you're not hearing any loud noise in the background give me an amen no loud noise in the background i had to get up a while ago and close the window everything make noise of the door the the the, the, the mic pick it up okay so you guys are hearing me perfectly well okay so now that you're hearing me perfectly well i want you guys to just go ahead and share as soon as it reach 50 go ahead and share go ahead and share as soon as it reach 50 zion warrior mount me love the name the zion warrior welcome zion warrior mount zion is a holy place i used to love that when we are singing you know mount zion is a holy place hey ha ha amen yes man me a whole revivalist amen but that is not what we are here today to this to to um to to talk about amen we are here to talk about the glory of god because a lot of persons said you know what me call as a revivalist well the all of us was called as a revivalist that is the first thing we need to understand all of us was called from dead work to live work so when you call from dead work to live work it means that you are a revival you revive that is where the word revival come from and a revivalist is somebody who continue into that walk their revival walk amen so that is where the term revival comes in but when it get a little bit shady now is when you start to claim that you are at 60 and a 61 revival that is when it get a little bit shady because you're not talking about god anymore you're talking about the demons of the atmosphere and you're talking about the the grave drum demons amen but when you're a revivalist amen you are revived from dead work on to live work good morning everyone again i greet you in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth so as promised i will continue because you listen carefully i said when it was 50 i said if it is go ahead and share go ahead and share amen go ahead and share go ahead and share so this morning we are going to get into the art of the matter amen into the art of the matter so for those of you that are here for the first time so you're glancing through face um tiktok and youtube and i mean to tiktok and um, facebook and you're here for the first time why should you stay here why well the reason why you should stay here is very simple one my name is Pierre lee smith amen i'm a former satanist a former sorcerer amen now what i do in the past i am not proud of it and what i share my testimony i am not proud of it either but i share my testimony because persons need to know the truth because a lot of person believe that demons are not real a lot of person believe that demons don't exist anymore and that is the reason why i share my testimony i do not associate with my past in any shape or form good morning long time where are where are you all this time well well i i am always on facebook you know listen every sunday morning my wife and i we're on facebook um tina tia we're always on facebook we're always on facebook amen teaching amen so what i want people to understand is very simple i i i share my testimony because of two things the bible said when you share your testimony you overcome with your testimony and the blood of the lamb amen so this is one of the reasons why i share my testimony one and two i want people to understand that demons and devils are real and so if we believe in them they are real and if we claim that we don't believe in them they are still real <laughs> any way you take it they are real amen so with all that said and done i just want to thank you for coming here this morning amen we have 62 persons on the life and for that 
we are about to go shampoo following the oath amen thank you for the following amen so what happened now is very simple i was exposed to the realms of the spirit from i was 14 years old and by the age of 15 i was now communicating with demons and devil by the age of 19 i was a full-blown obia man in the church well a lot of person call them um sorcerers some call them satanic high priests some call them witch doctor voodoo high priest you name it well i have walked through all of the realm of the spirit now i am not here to to show off or anything but i am here to let you know that you too can overcome that is the reason why i share my testimony now, so that you too can overcome because listen carefully and i kid you not you are the god of your own life i listen to me i kid you not you are the god of your own life you are the one who determine what goes on in your own life if you listen to me the only time you fail is when you fail to get up you falter get up amen you get it wrong do it over again the only time you fail is when you fail to try the only time you fail is when you fail to get up back when you falter the bible said in the book of proverbs that a righteous man fall seven times but him get up danny mclaren sing the song we fall down and we get up amen so you get up as soon as your feet hit the ground and one of the best thing when you fall down you just roll over by your knee and start to pray <laughs> amen amen so with all that inspirational talk let us go to the meat of the matter so i greet you again officially now in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth thank you for your presence here on the platform amen and thank you for the following thank you for the likes and thank you for the um for the sharing so let us get straight to the matter now um so who am i for those who are just coming here for the first time my name is Pierre morley smith amen a former satanist and so what i do is to encourage people not just to encourage them but just to give them motivational speak but what i do is to teach people how to defend themselves against the spirit of darkness amen so i teach people how to defend themselves against the spirit of darkness i also teach people how to defend them their family that is the one that is good so you not only defend yourself but you defend your family so for those of you that are here for prayer i will be teaching you how to pray for those of you that are here to break generational curses i will also be teaching you how to break generational curses for those of you who do not know how to pray amen i will also teach you how to pray yes just like how jesus taught his disciple how to pray the holy spirit also taught me amen how to do a spiritual deliverance prior i will also share this with you why i share it with you because of two things one because god tell me to share it with you one and two uh i share it with you because i'm not selfish i could have keep it all to myself you don't know say so some people were well, selfish like that you tell them they already believe they know the truth they will not tell you what they believe to be the truth because it make them strong but yet still the persons around them are weak well on this platform amen there should be no individual who believe that they are weak and if they even come in weak when we're done you're supposed to be making muscles spiritual muscle that is amen so god riches blessing upon you again in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth amen so we're going to pray right now father in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth we just want to thank you for your mercies we just want to thank you for your spirit of truth we just want to thank you for being god we bless you we honor you and we give you all the glory right now in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth zion warrior big up yourself there is no god like jehovah there is no god but jehovah and so father we give you all the glory in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth now listen how me pray when me praying you notice how me praying when i'm praying i use the name of jesus christ of nazareth as often as possible in my prayer that is key 
That is the key. Why? Because the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the power. The Bible tell you in the book of Proverbs, Proverbs 18, verse 10, it said the name of the Lord. What is the name of the Lord? The Bible tells us in the book of Acts, chapter 22, verse 8, Lord, what is your name? And the Bible said that the response came up from heaven and said, I am Jesus of Nazareth, whom thou persecutest. <laughs> Amen. So the name of the Lord is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And that is why in Acts chapter 3, 6, we saw the disciples using the name. Amen. Peter and John was on their way called the city of, the, the gate called Beautiful. It was a church. And they said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have I give unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, arise and walk. I kid you not, the power is all in the name of Jesus. It's not how eloquent you are. Amen. It's not how eloquent you are. It's not how uh, brilliant you are. It's no long, it's not the long prior. It's the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And that is why in the book of John chapter 14, Jesus of Nazareth said, Anything you ask in my name will be given unto you. Amen. And that is why it is declared in the book of uh, Philippians 2 verse 10. It said, At the name of Jesus of Nazareth, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is Lord. I am Camille, first time. Welcome, Camille. He said, I am Camille, first time. I'm asking for prayer for me and my four-year-old. My four-year-old child. I am here to learn how to pray. Okay, Camille. So, Camille is asking for prayer. So, Camille, this is how you're going to pray, Camille. Repeat after me, Carmen, Camille. Oh yes, yes, I was at Harvest Army. You're right. I got saved at um Jake's Road. Yes, Jake's Road. I got saved in 2004, December 2004 at Jake's Road. That's where I baptized. Yes, at, um Delta and Collins Church. The Collins Church. Yes. That's where I got And they run me out after. Yes, they run me out after. When the spirit of God started to talk to me, them semi demonic and they run me out after. So, yes, I was at Avis Army Church. Yes. Um, but it's a long story. So, let us not go there. Amen? Um, it's a long story. So, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we just want to thank you for your mercy. We just want to thank you for your spirit of truth. We just want to thank you for being God. We bless you. We honor you. And we give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now, According to Camille, Camille said, I would love to know how to pray, amen, so that I can defend myself and my four-year-old child. That's what Camille said. So, Camille, this is how you pray. Repeat after me, Camille. Father, always acknowledge the Father first. Always acknowledge Almighty God first. So, you pray, Almighty God, our Father, Jehovah God, I come to you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And every spirit that is inside of me. Around me. That is not of you. I. You repeat your, your full name. I repeat your full name. In my case, my name is P. Morley Smith. So I, P. Morley Smith, come in your presence right now. And every spirit that was assigned to me. I take authority over them right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I rebuke them back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now, this is how you pray. Why? Demons are afraid of the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Straight across the board. Amen? When I was exposed in the realm of the Spirit, here is a... Here is a perfect example. Uh, this person is saying, I know you. Sterling, um, you, you, Yannick. Yannick Sterling said, I know you. Yes, you know me, Yannick. You were at, you got saved at, I remember when you got saved at Harvest Army. You, yeah, to Langston Road. That's where I got saved, Jake's Road beside. Yes, yeah, so Yannick, here is a perfect example. The, the lady said she know me. After fact, she know me. Amen. So this is Emina Bogus. Amen. When I got saved, I was, listen to me, I was, um, this is where the deliverance um, process start. 
right that the young lady she's online yannick um sterling and she said she remember me so it was at her church my deliverance process start uh we have a deacon there named deacon chin and he is the one that the lord used to teach me about the name of jesus christ of nazareth let us give caesar what you want to caesar amen but they did not understand the importance of the name of jesus christ of nazareth and that's what causing the problem today so um, Camille, remember, it's the power is all in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So just like what you ever sit down and see your, the, the, um, you sew a piece of thread, you, you, you try to sew in as much as possible. That's all you do. Sew in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth as much as possible in your prayer. That's it. Sew it in. Listen to me. No leave no no yes they like they say listen to me if you leave out all it out here no leave no space no leave out no all so in father in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i come in your presence right now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every spirit that is assigned to me i rebuke them back to the peter l in the name of jesus christ of nazareth so in the name of jesus christ of nazareth in your prayer amen so it in your prayer the more you use the name are the stronger you become the more you use the name are the stronger you become the more you use the name is the more you get deliverance why because demons are afraid of the name of jesus christ of nazareth now for those churches and for those people who are using olive oil and water now first thing you need to understand olive oil activate the Falling angel rim, where we Jamaican call the 60 rim. So, the, the 60 rim are those who don't wear turban, they almost look alike the true church. But the spirit, if you don't use the olive oil, the spirit can activate. So, they work with the fallen angel. Now, the grave rim work with the water, and the marine kingdom and the grave rim is identical because they are earthly bound. So the marine kingdom and the grave rim, they are actually the same level. Amen? It's just that one on the earth and one underneath the water. And the both of them, this is, listen carefully, I want you to understand. Both of them, oh God, thank you Holy One. Now, the reason why I said thank you Holy One is because while I was there, a revelation came. Why did God ask us to baptize? Because he wants us to take authority also over the marine kingdom. So when you baptize, you go down there with the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. And you overcome the marine kingdom. Amen. You go, go down to the grave. Amen. Because you know, so see, bury people too. Amen. So the marine kingdom and the earth kingdom are the same because persons are buried in the sea. Persons are buried in the grave. So when you go there, amen, them go on under the water you take authority over the marine kingdom when you go under the water you take authority over the grave rim amen that's why god allowed baptism thank you holy one i didn't even understand what god was saying a while ago until he brought me to that so for those of you who are wondering why is it that we baptize so that you can take authority over the marine kingdom and the grave rim and have legal right amen to the kingdom of heaven all right God is his blessing upon you. So, Camille, the power is all in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So, continue to listen. Okay. I remember. I, be, I remember your testimony. They didn't believe They didn't believe you. True, they didn't believe you. Yes, see her here. She can tell you. You land, you land um, Sterling. When I start to tell them, said at the age of 14, I was exposed to the realm of the spirit negatively. See her here, she's on TikTok, you lander. See it, I'm not lying. Sit here, I'm not lying. Uh, when I got saved, I was wrapped up in the realms of the spirit. So a lot for you, maybe, maybe, maybe even if I mix up in the future. See it, when I share my testimony with them, they didn't believe me. So what happened is that at the age of 14, I was exposed to the realm of the spirit because I couldn't read. And by the time I reached 19, full blown Obeman in the church, a church made it day. When me turn over man and let me go somewhere go learn it at the church the church is full up of witchcraft even until today and that is what causing the problem so the lord fix me send me back and say god teach them how to pray and to deliver themselves see it? yolanda sterling thank you amen she said she remember me and the next thing that she said when i remember when you share your testimony they didn't believe you bless you man of god Bless you to prophetess Yolanda Sterling.
Amen? Amen. So, Yolanda, if you're still here, Amen. Me love you have an old friend, you know, so me consider you as a friend. So, Yolanda, Amen. If you're still here, my number is 3337-6688. So this is not just for you, Landa. This is for everybody who want my number. The number is 337-6685. So you can call me on that number. It's Jamaica era code 876 Eight five. That's the number. Amen. God richest blessing upon you, everyone. So for those that are here, I welcome you again. And we gonna talk. Amen. We gonna talk. Amen. Good morning, man of God. Good morning. Pray for my son. Pray for my son. For children, Christy. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Greetings in the mighty name. Listen to me, people. When you come on this platform, please to use up the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Listen carefully. Use up the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth on this platform. This is when you get powerful. Listen to me. On this platform, we teach everybody to be powerful in the realm of the Spirit. And the only way you can be powerful in the realm of the Spirit is if you use the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I kid you not. Amen. So you have some pastor. You always see them pan and them powerful. <laughs> and they're powerful. But yet still the persons following them weak. And that is what I come to change. Thank you, sir. It's Camille again. It's it's prayer for my four year olds son. For my four son. Oh, as four son, they are backsliders. Okay, Camille, um, what you can do, amen. What I'm going to do, some some of the Okay. Okay. I don't understand. Somebody said, um, Stacy Blessed said, I don't understand. What is it that you don't understand? Thanks for the teaching. What is it that you don't understand, Stacy Bless? I don't understand. Ashley said I Ashley Ash said she don't I don't understand. I don't understand. Using olive oil and water. Yes, yes, using olive oil and water is wrong. Yes, using olive oil and water is wrong. First thing we need to understand. Um, that is one of the reasons why we're in this mess. That is one of the reasons why we're in this mess. All right? When you use the olive oil, listen carefully. Listen carefully. For those of you that are asking me, why is it wrong? Before Christ came, listen carefully where we go where we go wrong. Before Jesus Christ came, the olive oil represent him. The olive oil represent the Holy Ghost. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is Jehovah God. One. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the Holy Ghost. Two. Amen. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is. Amen. The Son. Amen. So here we have one God playing uh, one God, amen. And just like oh, me have one body, but me have a mind, me have a spirit, amen. And me have a soul, and me, you see the body right now. That is how it is with Jehovah God. So it's one God. The Holy Spirit was first called the oil, or the anointing, the anointing oil. That's where it coming from. Okay, the Holy Spirit is Jehovah God, the Son and the Father in one. Because the word of God is God. Amen. And John gave us a perfect example. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word is God. The word is God. All right. And so what happened is that where did we go wrong? Jesus Christ of Nazareth said, this is what Jesus Christ of Nazareth said. I came and I fulfilled. So all of the representation that was the olive oil and everything that was Okay, before me even go, okay, let me lift that. So, what happened now is very simple. So, what happened now is very simple. 
God said that, listen carefully, he sent him son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, amen, into the world. So if we continue to use the olive oil that represent Jesus before he came, then we are now telling God, I don't believe that Jesus Christ of Nazareth already come. Because Jesus Christ of Nazareth is not already come. That's why we are going to continue use the olive oil. So that in itself is a total disrespect. Not only to God, but to the Son, which is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We are saying that, listen to me, you did not come. You no come it. So we are continuing to use the whole testament. When you use the olive oil, you said that you don't believe in the New Testament. That is why you cannot use the olive oil. Because the olive oil represents the whole testament. The New Testament is represented by the Holy Spirit. I repeat again. The olive oil, the, the, the olive oil, listen carefully. The olive oil represents the Holy Ghost in the Old Testament. Now, in the New Testament, the Bible said in Joel chapter 2, verse 28, it said, After the birth, the death, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I am going to pour out the olive oil. I am going to pour out the anointing. I am going to pour out the holy oil. I am going to pour out the holy oil up into every vessel. So it is not a physical olive oil anymore, but it's now a spiritual olive oil, which is called the Spirit of God. So God is saying, I'm going to pour out the Holy Spirit upon all flesh. We saw this in the day of Pentecost. When they receive in the book of Acts 2, the Holy Spirit, and they begin to speak in tongues, unknown tongues, given utterance by the Holy Spirit. So the oil was poured into them, and the olive oil was poured into them, and they began to prophesy. Amen? Now, if we should continue to mix the olive oil with the the old testament with the new testament we are saying god we do not trust you you're you are not adequate enough the holy spirit is not adequate enough so we are going back to the old testament to use the physical olive oil and that's what causing the problem amen so when you use the olive oil listen carefully when you use the olive oil you activate the fallen angels now the fallen angel is also called the prince of persia i repeat again the fallen angel which is satan is also called the prince of persia i repeat again the fallen angel which is also called lucifer satan is also called the prince of persia now what you need to understand is very simple amen if we continue to use the olive oil, we activate the fallen angel, the prince of Persia. So anybody will use olive oil, they are actually using the prince of Persia. Not Jesus of Nazareth, the prince of Persia. And that is where we are in problem. Amen? That is why the church is in problem. Why? Because the Bible said in the book of Isaiah 42, this is where the problem comes in now. For Isaiah 42 verse 8. This is where the problem comes. Remember, you know, you cannot be held accountable for any form of crime if there is no crime done. So where did the crime come in? We continue to use olive oil and this is where the crime come in. If there is no law, there is no crime. So the crime now is because there is a law. The law is Isaiah 42 8 which said, this is what the law said. It said, I will not share my glory with olive oil. I will not share my glory with water. This is where the law comes in. And if anyone is found in breach of the law, the God of gen vengeance is now going to activate. See where the God of vengeance come in? The God of vengeance is now going to hold us accountable. I said us because even I myself will be responsible. So the church that taught me witchcraft, I was first taught witchcraft by using olive oil and by using water and then take it to a next level because they were now mixing the olive oil and the water with the Kalanga water. Amen. And they were mixing the olive oil and water, not only with the Kalanga water, but they were now mixing it with the Franklin Sense and Myrrh. Amen. So that is where the olive oil is concerned and the water.
Amen. So any church using olive oil and water belongs to Satan. Not Almighty God. Why? Because they choose to go back to the Old Testament instead of receiving the spiritual gift, which is Christ. And you wonder why, listen to me. You wonder why Jamaica is not dismissed? Listen. Because of the church, them. God has cleaned up the church, them now, and has separated. And that's why you see crime kind of cool down. Amen. Why? Because people start praying now and are using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Remember what they are like every time you turn on the TV, I be a killing. People start to use up the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth now. The atmosphere close up back and the demons of war is no under something tight wrap. But we need to get it right. Amen. Because at any time, the atmosphere can open back. Remember one time, me not even want to listen to news again. Because as me list, oh, turn on the TV. One was dead. Jai by shooting. That was it. Uh, wh why? Because of the church. And the church are the problem. Why? Because the church is a spiritual doorkeeper. We are the guardian of the hurt. We are the one who, 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 in other words, we are the spiritual soldier of the earth. We defend the atmosphere from unclean spirit. Just like we have the JDF, amen, um, and what's the one, the police, they, they protect us from criminal. We, the church, supposed to protect the people from demons, amen? Okay, so let me go down now. Can, how can one learn witchcraft? in the church where God is. I saw this question and I deliberately stopped. Why? Because I want to address this individual. Amen? I want to address this individual. So MJ asked the question, how can one learn witchcraft in the church? Well, MJ, MJ, the first thing you need to understand is what is witchcraft? Let us go to Bible. According to 1 Samuel chapter 15 verse 22, it said, Obedience is better than sacrifice. So the best gift that you can give to God is your obedience. Be obedient to Him. When you're obedient to your parent, they consider you as a good parent. They consider you as a good son or a good daughter because you're obeying them. Amen. That is the same way it is with God. When you obey Him, you are considered to be in righteousness. You are considered to be a good son. Amen. And because He is a God who reward Him, reward you as being holy. Amen. So what happened now is in verse 22, it said, Obedience is better than sacrifice. Reading from, quoting from Isaiah. Um, 1st Samuel chapter 15 22 obedience is better than sacrifice but as soon as you go over to verse 23 listen what verse 23 said 23 said when we rebel against Almighty God it is as the equivalent of witchcraft that is witchcraft disobedience amen so you're asking me now, how can one learn witchcraft in the church? Now the question you should ask is, what is witchcraft? Now witchcraft is being disobedient unto Christ. According to 1 Samuel chapter 15 verse 23. When we rebel against God, it is as the spirit of witchcraft. Now we Jamaican rename every kind of word possible. And so, the name for witchcraft is Hobia. In our Jamaican tongue, the word for witchcraft is Hobia. And then it went on to say, when you stubbornly refuse to be corrected by Almighty God, then you are now walking in the spirit of iniquity. Now, iniquity is the same equivalent of witchcraft, which is the same equivalent of the word Hobia. Now, what is Obia therefore? Witchcraft. What is witchcraft therefore? Obia. What is the spirit of witchcraft? First, you need to understand. Now you need to go that, now that you know what is witchcraft, all right? What you, what you Jamaican call Obia. Obia is when we disobey God. Can anybody on the life say they have never, now that you know what Obia is, can anybody on the life say they never disobey God yet? Well, I can't. I even know me disobey him at times. Amen. So I can't. So I wouldn't even go there. So, amen. But what I want you to understand is that is the word witchcraft. That is the word obia. Amen. Now,
Okay, so I'm looking through again. So I, I want to address, or uh, just give me some time and I will address. Okay, so somebody said I'm at work, I won't stay long. Oh, I be prophetess, I amen. My church used both. Somebody said my church used both. Well, um, my sister. Amen. Your faith, Linson, faith in William said, My church used both olive oil and water. Your church belongs to man as belongs to Satan. That's what it be, That's what happened um, something there, um, faith, Lynn. Amen. That's what happened. And some of them use salt as well. Amen. All of these were representation of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So you see why it's important that we understand what we are getting ourselves in. So you're telling me what is the difference between james chapter 4 um 5 and 4 first thing we need to understand listen carefully this is what we need to understand i say it again i say it again one of the misleading book on religious affair is the bible i repeat again one of the most um misleading book where religion and religious affair is concerned is the bible all right so somebody asks, notice, notice, after the death of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, James 4, James 5, verse 14 to something, said something different from what you're saying, sir. Well, first thing you need to understand, sir, let us find out what Peter said. Peter was the one who was left in control of the church, not James. So let us find out what Peter said. Amen. So you're giving me scripture. James chapter 5, 14 and 6. I'm going to give you scripture. In fact, I'm going to give you two. Acts chapter 3, verse 6. Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have I given to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Arise and walk. We are in that. Tell us that you for up with olive oil. Peter was the one left in control of the church. Not James. Amen. Am I causing division? No. I'm separating religion from the, the spirit of God. That's what I'm doing. First thing you need to understand. It was Peter who was left in control of the church. We're talking about Matthew chapter 16 verse 18. The Bible said, oh, um, And I say also unto you that you are Peter. He didn't say, I say also unto you that you are James. So anybody you should be following is Peter. Amen. Any individual you should be following is Peter. Listen carefully. The first thing you need to understand is very simple. Very simple. When I was searching for Christ, I tried to find out who died on the cross. That is the first thing I try to find out. Who died on the cross. The first thing I find out is that when they were going for Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Listen carefully. When they were going for him after the unleavened bread, when they were going for him, the first thing you need to understand, this is found in John chapter, as in St. John chapter 18, verse 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. When it goes down there, they went for Jesus, amen, into the garden. And the Bible said that while they were there in the garden, the Bible said that Jesus of Nazareth came to them. And when he turned to them and said, Which one of the Jesus are you seeking? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. And he said, I am he. That's what Jesus said. I am he. Amen. So the reason why I say this is because I want you to understand. We are not saved because of the olive oil that we rub on ourselves. We are saved because of the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that was slain for us. Amen. Now, what you need to understand, this is one of the reasons why we are in this mess. Because of religious men. And, you notice, you only point out one scripture. After the death of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, James was the only one that said that, go back. And you should get the elders and then you should rub up aisle. James gone back to the whole testament. 
teaching. That's what he did. Amen. And so, one thing you need to understand is very simple. One thing you need to understand is very simple. This, most of the teaching that is inside the Bible, most of the teaching that is inside the Bible, it is in line with the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church was the one who decides, say, listen to me, I'm going to put this in the Bible and I'm going to take out this out of the Bible. So, in the Catholic Church, they teach against Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They teach the people, Amen. Stop telling the people foolishness. First thing I'm going to say to your user, Marva, 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 the first thing I'm going to say to you is be careful what you're saying. I'm going to tell you this. Be careful what you're saying. I would advise you to come off the platform if you don't have anything good to say. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I put Marva before you. And I pray that you save her and save her family. But if she refused to save or be saved, I pray that you put a curse upon her and her family in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because she's on the platform trying to cause confusion. So I pray that you put a spirit of madness upon Marva if Marva continued to walk in the spirit of deception. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. And as for Ashley, this is the same thing, God. Ashley, I'm going to warn you first. Come off the platform, Ashley. I beg you, if you don't understand the level that I'm teaching, get off the platform. I beg you, get off the platform. Do not cause curse to come upon you or your family. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray even right now for Ashley. I pray that you save her, God. But if she refused to be saved and to be a new stand to the teaching, I pray, God Almighty, that you will cause a curse to come upon up her up right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Remove the both of them from the platform in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Listen to me carefully. Let me, let me, let me be more specific. Let me be more specific. For those of you that come here, if you do not understand what I am saying, please just listen what I am saying. And if you do not understand, that means that you are not ready for this level. Now, if you come at a class and you are not capable to understand what is going on wrong, what you need to do is just to just take away yourself. Because if you don't take away yourself, you are going to cause yourself to be in problem. And you are going to cause your pitney them to suffer. Why do you think some of not suffer right now? Because some of not shot against God and his word. Now, listen what I am going to say, Marva. You are the problem. Teach the people them. You are teach the God. I'm not even going to read no more. You. Marva, I'm not even going to read no more. You. But for those of you that are on the platform, please, I beg you. If you do not understand what is going on here. Alright? If you do not understand what is going on here, please do just take away yourself. Alright? On this platform... On this platform, listen carefully. On this platform, I was listen. You're preaching another gospel. What other the gospel am I preaching? Am I not upholding the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth? What other gospel am I preaching? Listen carefully. Just take on yourself. All of you who are here who don't understand, just take on yourself. If you want to understand, ask me question. I will explain. If I say something and you're not in agreement and you want clarity, please to ask me. Alright? Please to ask me. But please, if you do not understand, see there? That for sure say you know, have no you, listen carefully. First thing you have to show me Exodus chapter 25. Let me go to Exodus chapter 25. First thing you have to go to Exodus chapter 25, verse something. What you do back in the Old Testament? That is the first thing I ever ask you. What you do back in the Old Testament? Eh? The Old Testament was fulfilled. You're not supposed to in the Old Testament. You're supposed to in the New Testament. What you do back over in the Old Testament? Exodus 25, verse 1. Let me see what, it, what you're selling to me. Exodus 25 
gross one. Then Moses speak unto the people saying, so I, I think you want me to go. I think you want me to go further than that. First thing you need to understand, all right, the level of teaching here is totally different from everybody else. And the reason why I say this is because the level of experiences that I have in the realm of the spirit, no pastor ever got this before. I'm not boasting. I'm telling you, no pastor ever got here so I can come back. Because when I went, listen to me, I went to Almila. Almila tell me come out time church. Because God tell him to tell me to come out time church. Because God himself has to come for me. Alright, so when I... Okay. That is my problem, you know. I, I, I can't, I have a tendency where I, I don't want to ignore some of But me, I got to just ignore some of I don't want to, I want, I, I am trying my best to adjust everything, but I realize that it is not possible. So I'm not going to cause any other, I'm not going to adjust you personally. Alright, fine. I'm just going to leave you guys. Now, for those of you that are on the platform, for those of you that are on the platform, for those of you that are on the platform, let me see if any one of you are on the platform. I don't want to go live together with nobody. Let me see something. Okay. Okay. Let me see if we can put up somebody on the platform. Okay. So I load more time. Let me put up mother load more than the, Um Ashley. Ashley. Mac, uh, Murky. Ashley Murky, me send you a request. Since as you have so much moat, company platform contact. Good afternoon. Be before you even go any further. Shh, hold on, hold on. Before before you before you even go, before, hold on, hold on, hold on, just, just hold on. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I come in your presence right now. And I give you all the glory. And every rebellious spirit that is on the platform right now, that is not of you. I take authority over them and I shut them down and I send them back to the pit of hell. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, let your will be done. Your will alone be done. This is about you. This is not about Ash. And this is not about me. This is about you. So let your will be done right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Ash, go ahead. Yes, I was saying, you say, um, the person that the oil, right? Is a, it is a demon. But the Bible told you that God anoints people with olive oil let me say me get this trip are you there ash hello come on the devil is a liar from the pit of hell amen the devil is a liar from the pit of hell Resume. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we give you glory, we give you honor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Father, I take authority over every demons and devil. Isn't God an awesome God? Listen carefully. Isn't God an awesome God? Hallelujah. Isn't God an awesome God? Now the devil can't touch me. 
Hallelujah. The devil cannot touch me. Amen. And he cannot touch the platform. So the first thing the devil tries to do is to touch the equipment them around us. May I go put her back up? Amen. Ash, I'm going to look for you again. Amen. Ash, I'm coming back to you. Amen. The devil is a liar because you're getting deliverance today. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, may I send you back a request again? Amen. Today you're getting deliverance. Today you're getting deliverance if you're walking up spirit of obedience. Um, all right, Pastor, may I ask you a question? Yeah. Go ahead. Yes, I'm asking First thing, before you, you even go no further, before you even go any further, are you yes. a Christian? Yes, I am a Christian. Okay. A you're what? I am a Pentecostal. Go ahead. All right. So you you were saying to some you was praying a while ago for somebody, right? Yes. And then you said you said um I don't know what the person said to you, and you're saying that something you like you're cursing her. Why would you curse the person? So you never hear me curse you too. Well, defend you, defend well, yourself. Don't talk about the person. Me curse you too. Okay. First thing me said, listen to me. L listen what I said. Listen what I said. I said, Ash. I said, Ash. I said, Ash. Uh -huh. If you're on the program and you don't understand what I am saying on the program, come off. Do not stay here. Do not stay here and cast a book on the program. That's what I said. And I said, Ash. And I said, Ash, I pray that you get deliverance. All right. So you ask me a question, and you know what me, you know what me talk. Listen to me, Ash. Listen to me, Ash. Listen to me, Ash. Don't make me take you down. Don't make. Listen carefully. Don't make me take you down, please. Do not make me take you down. We're gonna talk as two adult. Can we do that? Can we do that? Can we talk as two adult? No, we're not going to talk first. When you talk, may I ask you a question? Can we talk as two adults? Yeah. Okay, fine. You asked me a question. Why would I curse someone? And I said I did not just curse the person. I also curse you and anybody else who would have come on the platform to cast havoc on the platform. That's what I said. Now me answer you. Go ahead. What? What did I say? I just text you and say... Why does you mean that olive oil are demon? God use olive oil on people. Stop tell lie. What, what Stop tell lie. Stop tell lie. Stop tell lie. Stop, Stop tell lie. Where did God use olive oil on people? God anointed their heads with oil. The Bible said that. No Jesus. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. So you so just tell me say I go talk as an adult. So how is it that you're not giving me a chance to talk? You I'm ask right, me a question. I'm Please to allow me to answer the question. First thing you need to understand is very simple. Who bring the blessing and who bring the anointing? Is it the olive oil where mankind make or is the no. olive oil where God make? No. No, the olive oil the anointing is in us as Okay, stop right there, so stop right there, so stop right there, so stop right there, so. So if the anointing is in us, which is the Holy Spirit, now how is it possible that you're saying that the holy vial is what God used to heal people? So what God used? God not say tell the blind man say go to the water. You have to pray over something. It's like an anointing. It's not. It's a physical that you have to pray. Alright, let me tell you something. Why do you think some people use oil in evil? Because the oil is good and bad. That's why God uses Ashley. anointing. Ashley. Oh, Ashley. Yeah. Ashley. Okay. Ashley. Are you, you baptized? Are you baptized? Ashley, if you're going to be... Yeah. Listen carefully. If you're going to continue like this, Ashley, I am going to remove you from the platform. All right, let me tell you straight up. If you behave like this, I'm going to remove you. Because you are asking me some questions and you're not giving me time to answer them. All right, go ahead. All right. I'm listening, First thing you need to understand, Ashley. Who is uh -huh. the olive oil? The 
olive oil is a, it's just a liquid. Ashley, it's, uh, I'm going to ask you the same question in a different form. Listen, 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 listen. Cause this, this is the thing that I, listen to me. What you're telling me right now, a lot of you on the platform, let me tell you something about God. Let me tell you something about God. A lot of you said, calm down, pastor, listen to me. The Bible said, be hungry and sin not. Alright? When you say, when you say people have said some foolishness like this, this is foolishness. Let us ask you the same question in a different format. When God turned to Samuel and said, Samuel, I in Samuel chapter um, 50, um, in the book of Samuel, 1 Samuel, in the book of 1 Samuel, all right? When God said to Samuel, go and anoint Jesse, I think, I, listen carefully. Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. In 1st Samuel chapter 16 verse 1 verse 1 yes so what I want you to do is to find 1st Samuel 1st Samuel chapter 16 okay 1st Samuel 16 alright now, what I want people to understand is very simple. Hold on, hold on. What I want people to understand is very simple. When you come on this platform, listen carefully. When you come on this platform, if you're here to, if you're here to learn, you need to listen. That is the first thing. And if you're here to learn, it is a must that you have your Bible with you. So that we can talk Bible. Okay. So let us go to 1 Samuel chapter 16. Alright? Mm -hmm. What is said in... What you, read from your Bible. And the Lord said unto Samuel, How long will thy mouth for thy How long will you mourn? In other words, how long will you weep over Saul? That's the word. How long will you I, weep over Saul? I, from over the Israel, feel thy with oil. Fill oil. your own. That's what he said. Your own. The own. You oil. mean and uh, and and the and the head at the cow. You see. You see on. So what they used to do. I listen. Did. Listen. No. Listen. No. What they used to do is to use yeah. the on as oil. oil. You see. Uh, that's why. Uh, that's why. Uh, that's why. We don't reach now in a Christian domain. No. I don't know. Listen. You. You don't listen. The Bible said, "Fill your own with oil." Uh -huh. Everything here so is a message. The arm represent authority and the isle represent the Holy Spirit. The arm represent the arm represent authority. The head represent authority and the olive oil and the isle. He never said olive oil, he said the isle. The isle represent the anointing. Okay, now let me see if me get this straight. May I go ask you the same question? What was the rep what was the isle representing, or who was the isle representing? Jesus. <laughs> me glad you talk. Me glad you said Jesus. Now tell me something now, Ashley. If you're saying that the isle represent Jesus, and Jesus came and said, "I fulfill all the representation that was representing me." So you don't have to do it anymore because I now fulfill them. Why would we continue them? What did, what, what did you ask Why did you think that God died for us and shed his blood? For to redeem us, right? But as God followers, God followers use oil to cover people. This is witchcraft. 
The anointing is supposed to cover you, not olive oil. This is no, witchcraft. Alright, do you ever fast before? Do you ever do a fasting, like three day fasting? A seven day fasting? I do one, I do a ten. I, I, listen carefully. When I was 14 years old, I was told to do a fast. Ten day fasting. And after I fast, I feel a heaviness come upon my head. And when the heaviness come upon my head, me thought it was God. And then after that, they told me that I was going to be a revivalist um, um, pastor. Not just a pastor, but a prophet. And what happened is that I was using olive oil and water. I was also using salt. I was using garlic. In other words, I was in the realm of the spirit negatively. All right. But we don't use salt or garlic. We just do olive oil and water. Baptism, we use water. The same thing when you want to go to sea or river. Ash. We don't do that. Ash. Witchcraft. Ash. 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 We don't do that. Ash. Pentecost. Ash. This is what I'm going to ask yes. you. This is what I'm going to ask you. Yeah. What does the Holy Ghost represent? Uh, what does the olive oil represent? <laughs> Alright, you know what the Holy Ghost represents? Yes. All right. The Holy Ghost represents God. The Holy Ghost no represent God, Ashley. Ashley, the Holy Ghost don't represent God. The Holy Ghost is Almighty God. Ashley, the Holy Ghost is Almighty God. Ashley, Ashley, the Holy Spirit is Almighty God Himself. Fallen angel no fear Christian, Ashley. Tap tell lie. Hold on. When you're in a Holy Ghost, are you bound by sin and demons? Are you in a Holy Ghost? Are you cover that person? Why you think? Cover the person with what, Ashley? Or, no, me not ask you a question. I'm asking you. I you ask me. When you're in the Holy Ghost, and cover the person. Oh. Ashley, can you just answer what me I ask you? Just answer what me I ask you. Cover the person with what? Ash, right? Ash, yes. Ash, uh -huh. I'm going to ask you a question. Ash, you said cover the yes. person. You said Ash, you said cover the person. What does it, you, what do you cover the person with? What you say? When you said you're under the Holy Ghost and you cover the person, what do you cover the person with? Ash, listen carefully. There's a there's a I'm noise in the background. Listen what me I say now. <laughs> loud mouth, L loud mouth. Listen what me I say. There's a noise in the background. There's a noise in the background. Could you step away from that noise for me? All right, all right. You know what the whole teaches? Yes. Yeah. you one question i'm going to ask you one question one question i'm going to ask you one question i'm going to ask you did the olive oil die on the cross did the olive no jesus blood died on the cross okay why you think they took it ash ash listen hold on ash hold on hold on hold on hold on i want you to turn to isaiah 53 verse 5 Fifty-three, right. verse five. Hold on, let me get the Bible. You want to read it to me, same time? I don't want to read it to you. I want you. Come, good. I'll read it and read it one different way. Some want you read it yourself. No. Read it out of your own Bible. Read it out of your own Bible. Go ahead. Alright, what do you say? Which Bible you read? How type of Bible you read? Which type of Bible you reading, sir? The nice in the background. 
the noise in the background. Can you can't move from side of the noise from in the background? Isaiah, Isaiah 53 mm -hmm. verse 5 Alright, Isaiah 53 verse 5 Yes Alright But he was wounded for our transgression He was wounded for our iniquity The transmission of our peace was upon him And with his tribe we are healed Alright, stop this up, right. stop this up, stop this up <laughs> And with his tribe we are healed Which part in the black now tell us the olive oil healed So let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. Let me let me see if me understand you. Let me see if me understand what you are saying. The olive oil, the olive oil is the blood of Christ. That's what you're saying. We're it, using it now for the blood of Christ, sir. Okay. We're using the Jesus. All right. Okay. okay. What he baptized God with water. Okay. Okay. No. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me make a statement. 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 Somebody, Ashley, if you continue like this, me go take you from the platform because obviously you're not here to learn. All right, we are learning each other. No, no, you're not here to learn. You're not here to learn. You're here to say something, to have a push agenda. If you're here to le learn, then you'd have listen. You're, you're not here to learn. Here what? This is not going anywhere. This is not going anywhere. Let me remove you from the platform. This is not going anywhere. This is not going anywhere. Let me remove you from the platform. You, this is not going anywhere. Now, for the individual who asks, how is it possible for one to be in the presence of God? I end up working witchcraft. This is how it is possible. First thing Ashley came on here. When I come on the ear, what I teach or what I share is not necessarily the truth. What I want you guys to do is to think for yourself. Think for yourself. Put Bible together. Think for yourself. That's what I do. I open up your understanding. I I I I I I I I, I provoke your thought. So that you think for yourself. First thing you need to understand. Are the Bible them used for trick we? Are the Bible them used for enslave we? Are the Bible them used for twist everything? Let us go to Bible. Now what you need to understand is very simple. If I am Brother Smith. And I am here. Alright. Now listen carefully. The reason why you have people using olive oil. The olive oil is a representation of. It represents me. So here is what happened now. Let's just say I am invited to a particular gathering. And I said, okay, I cannot make it. However, I am going to send my wife to represent me in my absent. Okay? So I am not able to make it to the function. However, I'm going to send my wife to represent me at the function. And the same thing happened. Before Jesus Christ of Nazareth came, the oil was sent by Jehovah God to represent him. Now let's just say I am here. Now when you send me the invitation, me couldn't come at the time. But when me send the representation, the representation come which is my wife but after a time i turn up now at the venue who do i represent now my own self amen what am i saying therefore is very simple the oil represent the holy spirit that's why them said i'm gonna pray over the oil that it turned the holy spirit one i'm gonna turn the oil represent the blood of jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's why they pray. I'm going to pray so that the, oil, the, the olive oil become your blood and say, listen to me. That's garbage. And this is how witchcraft is done. This is how witchcraft is start. I tell people all the while. You see, from she tell me, said, I am a Pentecostal. Me could have able to tell her. Did you know that 
the old who remember the old spokomania church them the old zion church them where wrap up their head and and chart and everything today they are called pentecostal and today they are called apostolic they are a twist just like how spirit evolve mankind evolve the spirit of darkness also evolve and they put on a new name and call themselves pentecost when it come to the pentecost and the apostolic them not take no telling from nobody them know everything according to them and know nothing amen and that is why she have a problem here where she ever tell me when i ask her who does the halival represent jesus of nazareth that's what she said she said jesus but mr jesus christ of nazareth becoming why me represent now if the olive oil represent jesus christ of nazareth why would i be using the olive oil now that jesus christ of nazareth died the olive oil represent jesus christ of nazareth before he died now that he died on the cross isaiah 53 verse 5 gave us a perfect example he was now wounded he was telling us about the death of christ he was now wounded for our transgression so the olive oil that we used to use is not necessary anymore listen carefully today you have some single woman going a sex shop let me not go down that road if i can have the original thing why would i want the carbon copy that's all i'm going to say if i can have the original why would i want the carbon copy that's all i'm going to say all right now what we need to understand is very simple very simple very simple listen carefully if i can have the original why would i want the carbon copy eh that's all i'm gonna ask if i can have listen carefully today listen carefully today they are making sex toys is in a form of a robot where you have the robot slung panny city all dandy <laughs> with a white smile the robot can't talk the robot can't do nothing the robot can't do this the robot can't do that and the robot can't do that eh can't do nothing the robot can't even talk and all they expect you to do now is to rub yourself on the robot find pleasure but when you don't do that now can the robot talk to you no so why would i replace a, replace a robot with a with a with a with a natural woman what we can't talk to is it that me live single or me not live with no robot? Why would I take a robot go put in my house? If I can get the original woman. That makes sense? The same thing apply. You cannot use... Why are you so so confusing? <laughs> Alright. Ashley, what I'm going to ask you to do, Ashley... you see i believe in grace and mercy i believe in grace and mercy all right i believe in grace and mercy so me not gonna say nothing hallelujah i believe in grace and mercy so me not gonna say nothing you believe in grace and mercy you, you put me up how are you doing Pastor? <laughs> good afternoon prophetess grace how are you <laughs> you don't know what i was about to do you don't know what i'm about to do I was about to push up back Ashley, but when me look, me see say you the punish. So I said, I believe in grace and mercy. No, I've been a long time. I've been a long time. Now, what, what people need to do is to come out of tradition, right? What people need to do is to let Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God Almighty himself, teach us, right? We have to understand, all right. Let, 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 let's go back into Eve. I'm not disputing the word of God. I'm not disputing the Bible or anything at all, right? But what I'm saying is that sometimes we put the word, the, the, the Bible, above the Holy Spirit, above Jesus Christ of Nazareth himself. You have to read with understanding. This is why sometimes you'll find that people who are not believers, who don't have a true relationship with God, um, they read can carry the bible and come up with all kind of craziness right but you need the holy spirit to lead you into all understanding i can read the entire bible 500 times right and still don't understand the true message of the word now what we had in the old testament was before jesus came we had a lot of ordinances right when jesus christ of nazareth came 
we threw off those ordinances. So why would we go back to certain things again? Do we still offer sacrifices? Do we still do animal sacrifices? Why don't we continue to do animal sacrifices? Because Jesus Christ of Nazareth has already come. He has already paid that ultimate sacrifice on the cross. He already died, right? So now what we use is the authority of the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Remember when he was here on earth, he said, how do you pray? You refer to the Father, the eternal, holy, heavenly Father, and you use the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That is what we need. The word says that we have been given all authority. Where do we get the authority from? The name. The name. And we are authorized to use the name because of the relationship that we have with him. Right? So we must understand too that don't believe that... Um, once you see something happening, miracles happening, and, and, and signs and wonders happening, this is where people get fooled a lot because they say, all right, me, me, me use the, 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 the olive oil, me use the water, me use this and me use that, right? And I see miracles that get my healing and whatever. But look here, the word of God says that when I come, right? When I come, when I say, you're going to say to him, say, did I not cast out devils in your name? Did I not do miracles? Did I not do this and that? And you said to him, depart from me, I know you not. You workers of iniquity. Don't let off that part. Don't let off that part. You workers of iniquity. Depart from me, I know you not. No, ask yourself the question. How could Almighty God say that? How could These are people who are doing whatever. Doing miracles, working signs and wonders. In my name. And now, what did he say to them? Now, what we need to understand is very simple. What we need to understand is very simple. All right? What we need to understand is very simple. When Jesus Christ of Nazareth came here, this is what he said. It is finished. Amen. And one. And he said, I come to fulfill, not to change. So all of the thing that was representing him. Let us go back as far as Genesis chapter 1. All right? It said, in the beginning was the word. So the word was representing him from day one. Okay. In Genesis chapter three, um, 1 verse 3, he said, he is. And God created a light. Now the light represents the light of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. A two light God created. You know, he created a physical light, which is the sunlight. And he created a spiritual light, which is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now, what I want people to understand is very simple. In Genesis chapter 2, verse 9, it said, Out of the ground the Lord God caused to grow every tree. Tree represent the spirit of a man. The Bible said the tree of life, referring to Jesus Christ of Nazareth, was placed in the middle. Where was Jesus Christ of Nazareth when he died? In the middle between the two crosses. Now, if you want to understand the death of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, then you will have to go to Genesis 2 verse 9. Because the Bible said, good was on one side and evil was the one on one side. In Genesis 2 verse 9, this is the first time we saw the death of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And mankind no sin against God yet, you know. So God put in saving grace before mankind even sin against him. A representation. What is an representation? A representation is something that represents the person that should be coming in a short while. Amen? And so we need to understand these things. And that is why I say that the church is full of a witchcraft. Because of teaching like these. Where um, Ash is teaching. That's why the church is full of witchcraft, you know. Amen. And the person asked me, how can you say that you did in a church and turn witchcraft? This is what they taught me in church. Anybody who operate under this are teaching you. It is saying that the, there is no power in the name of Jesus. I in a halifile the power there. Basically, that's what they are saying. And I, I want to make one other point as, as well. Um, this use of water. No... I'm not going to tell anybody that um, that I'm seeing this from the world. But what you have to understand too is that the Holy Spirit will teach you things, right? Which is an extension of what is in the Word, right? Now, with this whole water thing, I used to do that too. But there was just something that I was very uncomfortable, you know, about using like water and anointing water and stuff like that. And I asked the Lord about it. 
and thereafter I got the revelation that it is representing the marine kingdom, the water spirits, the marine kingdom, right? So I know that that is definitely wrong. How can you serve two masters? What kind of mix up God that we are serve? You know, you're calling on and wanting, you're calling and wanting and I use all kind of powers. Javidan, please don't be disrespectful about God. Don't tell me anything. Don't be rude. Right? And you have to understand too that in your growth you will learn certain things. One of the things that I learned is that God is not with denominations. So come crucify me now. Right? The Lord broke that thing down for me one morning. Right, that he is not in denominations. He said, "What? The, what is a um a, a, a fraction?" And I said, "It has a numerator and a denominator, right?" And he said, "What does the denominator do?" And I said, "Well, the denominator is one that divides." And he said, "Exactly. Denomination comes from the word denominator, right? And denominator, that bottom number there, it causes division. That is what the Lord God Almighty Jesus Christ of Nazareth Himself told me." So don't tell me about God, not tell me anything at all, right? And he showed me this word, divide and conquer. At that time, I didn't know anything about um, strategies of war. And he said that divide and conquer, that's what the enemy uses against the church. He says he sees one church, one body. If not the Anglican, Pentecostal, Jehovah Witness, what he sees one body. He's picking out one church. He has one church, Right? No. He has one church and people are rooted in tradition. You have to ask yourself the question, why do we do the things that we do? Why do we use olive oil? Why do we use water? They are idols. It's idolatry. It's idolatry because we're substituting things for the real power of the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The power and the authority in his name. So, Javidan, please go and have a seat quietly. When I'm speaking, you don't know the authority. Here you are, but you can't wait for Judgment Day. It shows the, the, the spirit that you are coming from because you want to condemn people to hell because what? We're not in agreement with what you say. That's not right. Now, one of the things when, when I'm on the live, listen carefully, let me adjust the situation. An individual asks, why is it that you get so angry? First thing you need to understand, you don't know God. The Bible said, if me a mere man, uh, you can talk and get me angry. Let us go back to the book of Genesis. Because a lot of no things say God has only called pure, pure God, you know. The Bible said in the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter 6. Let us go to Genesis chapter 6. In the book of Genesis chapter 6 verse 1 it said and it came to pass when man began to multiply upon the face of the earth and daughters was born unto them that the son of man saw that they were fear and they came down and took them and make themselves wife all that they choose and the spirit of the Lord said verse um, 3 said and the spirit of the Lord said and, and the Lord God said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh. Yet is they shall be numbered one and twenty years. And there were giants in those days. Amen. And also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bear children. Now in those days they were called mighty men are giants today after them dead in the noah flood today they are called demons so that is where demons come from for those of you that are on the platform all right that is where demons come from god did not create demons demons is a cross between the children of disobedience and the fallen angel first they were called this um um giants amen but today they are called demons their spirits are called demons all right now verse 6 said and it repent the lord repented the lord that he have made man why because it strive him on it grieve him when you look upon the platform i talk foolishness it grieve me not because you not talk foolishness you know it's because you don't take the time to listen so that you can be edified and bees. So it grieved me hard for see on the company platform with stupidity and then I march to hell. 
That's why it grieved me. Just as though it grieved God. It pained me. Where you think me go upon people life? You think me go upon people life because I want to go upon life? Me go upon people life because I see them do foolishness. And when me go upon them life, I say, listen to me. Please, me I beg you. Try the spirit. No, don't go to hell. Don't go to hell. And some people bent on going to hell. So me I believe them. Me I believe them. If it up to me, I save everybody. I the same thing with God. If it up to God, him save everybody. But the principle is he can't. Because the Bible said in Revelation chapter 3 verse 20, Behold, I stand at the door and I knock. In other words, if you don't invite me in, I can't come in. Why? Because I give you the authority to choose your own destiny. Now what people need to understand is very simple. Why do we have so much church? Very simple. Go to um, Exodus chapter 7 verse 11. God sent back Moses to Egypt with the rod, which is representing the rod of Moses. For those, Ashley, Ash, the rod of Moses was representing Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I repeat again, Ash, the rod of Moses was representing Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When they went to, when Moses went to Egypt, with the rod Moses was introduced in the Egyptian them to the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth the Egyptian them said listen to me we know why your rod because we have few with one virgin of Jesus already a lot of persons on the platform and they do not know that every church where you go have them own different virgin of Jesus that's why we have so much churches today every church you go have them own Jesus and I kid you not. I kid you not. Every church where you go have them own Jesus. And so what happened is very simple. Right here in the Bible, someone asks me, hear what the Lord said. And the Lord said, I will destroy mankind. Amen. Whom I have created. Verse 7. Genesis chapter Genesis chapter um, 6 verse 7. And the Lord said, I will I will destroy mankind who I have created, both man and everything. In other words, verse 6 said it repent. In other words, me sorry, me did make no. That's what God said. So when you come by here, I got to talk about why are you getting angry? Because my daddy angry. Why are you the, because my dad listen to me? Same like oh my father can say, listen to me. Because the spirit way in my father. You think it grieved me because Una had foolishness? It grieved me for see Una go to hell. That's why it grieved me. That's all. Nothing else. It, listen to me. Why I can't say Una and Una way to hell? For those of you who just come on on the program, for 22 years me did that Obey man. For 22 years me did that um, Satanic high priest. For 22 years I was a voodoo high priest. You name it, I used to do it. I used to shed goat blood, foul blood, pigeon blood. I kid you not. And I used to call it the blood of Jesus. So when you hear me talking, me I talk because of what I know. Me not talk when me believe. Why you think me can come and, and talk directly and say, listen to me. The name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the only thing Satan is afraid of. I kid you not. Satan is not afraid of the name of Jesus and Jesus Christ. Why? Because Satan is called Jesus and Jesus Christ. He cannot be called Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And that is why the church seems as if it have no power today. Why? We are not following Acts chapter 3, 6. Notice what Peter and John was doing. They said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have I given to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, arise and walk. And then in verse 4, verse 10, it said, men and brethren, be it known that at the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, this man is made whole. Which part the Halivile said that now? Which part in that mentioned the Halivile? Acts chapter 4, 10. Acts chapter 4, 10 said, Men and brethren, be it known that this man is healed by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Where and that did Peter rub up oil upon the man? Where and that did Peter rub up oil upon the man? Woman of God. Woman of God. Repeat after me. Eternal God. God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, of Jesus Christ cover me. Of Nazareth. 
cover me. And cover my emotion. And cover my emotion. God. Yeah. God. Father God. Save these people. Save these people. But if they refuse to be saved. But if they refuse to be Every saved. Every curse word where they are cast upon me. Let it remain. Let it return back to their bosom. Of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's all. No say nothing more. Don't say nothing more. Do not say anything more. Because principle is do unto others as you like others do unto you. So now that they try to cuss you out, leave that alone. Just say God. Just do not charge me for them, and just leave it alone. All right? Because me and you know. Say so we're right. Amen. God richest blessing upon you. Amen. Right. I'm gonna take yes. you down now, alright? Okay. Anything you have to say before you go? Yeah, me, me, me ear, me ear, me ear, me ear, me ear. Love you too. <laughs> alright. Amen. Me hear when you say you love me. You love you too, me. Love you too. <laughs> amen 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 so on this platform we teach people how to defend themselves and to defend their family now what i want people to understand is very simple if ashley want to talk i will talk with ashley honest to god because ashley sent me back a request and if ashley want to talk i will talk with ashley but there is no way i'm going to talk with ashley if ashley don't listen okay so what I'm going to do now, we see some pe persons here. Alright, so we saw Wolipa invitation here. So what I'm going to do is put up um, Josh B. Alright, so Josh, I'm going to put you up. Hello, sir. Hello, hello. Greetings. First time. First time on your program. I don't know if he's a pastor. How long have you been a pastor? Well, I'm a brother of the feet. Okay. So you're not a pastor then? No? I'm a pastor of my own I soul. Know. Don't you know that you're a pastor? I'm a pastor. Yes. According to first... No, actually, l l listen, listen, listen. I'm actually... I'm actually I'm asking if he's a pastor by title or he just no, 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 no. People just presume. No, 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 no. I was ordained by God to be a pastor. I don't know who was ordained. Nobody is. I was ordained by God to be a pastor. I, I, I was a, okay. ordained as a preacher of the gospel of Jesus of Nazareth. Who, are you a pastor? No, I am not. Okay, I'm going to ask you one more question. All right, were you ordained by Almighty yeah. God? Yeah, I wouldn't say no. Why wouldn't you say no? I wouldn't say no. Why wouldn't you say no? Because I'm a chosen one. Okay, stop right there, sir. Let me shed light on what I just asked you. First thing you need to understand, yeah. I'm talking to every believer right now. Not just Mr. Josh. I'm talking to every believer. First thing you need to understand, we are all evangelists. There is no such thing as pastor. We are all evangelists. Evangelist is a messenger to represent. You say pastor and all those things and um, prophet and prophet and so all of them come under one title. Evangelist. Everybody come under one title. One title. When you have bishop, you know when you have bishop or when Paul come in at the book. Bishop, a uh, Paul is the one who teaches us religion. Paul is the one who teaches religion. Now, what you need to understand is very simple. We are all... Now, who ordained everybody? First thing you need to understand. When you go to Matthew chapter um, 28, verse 19 to 20, Jesus was the one who said, Go ye therefore, when you believe in me, and you accept me as your Lord and Savior, go ye therefore in all the world, and teach... Who do you call yourself a pastor? No. Okay. Well, me, me beg for differ. In 1 
Peter chapter 2 verse 9 it said but you are our royal priesthood did you know that the priesthood for 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 um the word priest today is called pastor okay okay, okay. so what i want you to understand is okay. that nobody should listen yeah, to me listen carefully you are the pastor of your soul you are the pastor of your household you are the one supposed to present god before listen to me and that is why i tell people my mandate is different when i got saved on my way to prison the lord sent me back and said listen to me i want you to teach my people how to praise me i said god he said listen to me i don't want no middle man that's what god said i don't want you to come and present me people before me i want to talk to them directly so you see same like oh me teach you if you talk to me directly go and teach them if you come talk to me directly so when me tell people say listen to me i can't pray for you i honestly go against the will of god if i pray for you so my job is to share when me call god if you come in i kid you not Anytime you hear me say father in the and that's why me tell people when you no come on the platform if you don't understand what you're doing come off of the platform because the authority that i'm given who i bless is blessed and who i curse is curse and this is the same authority that everyone i'm children them have and that is coming from genesis chapter 3 verse 22 the bible said behold Josh is now one of us. Who is Josh? Josh is now. Uh, listen to me. Why you think Elisha? Why you think Elisha could have talked? Listen to me. For three years, no, three and a half years, no rain. Judgment that. And then Elisha go to God and say, listen to me. Me tell the people, I'm saying no rain and fall, you know. And God say, okay, fine. Amen. The same thing happened today. When you talk things in the atmosphere, as long as you use the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God said, okay, fine. Why? Let me give you a biblical scripture. The Bible said in the book of Matthew chapter 16, verse 19, anything you condemn on the earth is condemned in heaven. Tell me when me wrong, no? Tell me which part me wrong, this, no? Tell me which part me wrong, this, no? So why I tell people, listen to me, if you don't understand the power where you have inside of you, a lot of us looking for God outside. You cannot find God outside. God is inside of you. If you accept the Holy Ghost. Amen. Of course. The power is within you. The you power. The you the church. You know. That's what the Bible said. You know me like to talk to people who have sense. Well, let me give you scripture now. So you said you are the church. Let me give you scripture now. You know the, the good thing with this with, with this? You notice what happened. The, the young man listening. Now he said that we are the church. May I go give you a biblical scripture why him say what him say. The Bible said in 1 Corinthians 3, verse 16, know he not that you are the temple of the living God. And know he not that the olive oil live inside of you. What is the olive oil? The Holy Spirit. Know he not that the olive oil live inside of you. Because the olive oil was a representation of the Holy Spirit. That is why the Bible tells us in the book of um, Joel chapter 2. Notice what happened. The olive oil was an outside procedure where you rub outside. But the Bible said when the, the true olive oil come, he's going to live inside because I'm going to pour out the olive oil. That's what it means. I'm going to pour out the olive oil and it's going to pierce through your skin and it's going to dwell inside how because of the same thing which i did listen carefully how did god enter our body the bible said in genesis chapter 2 verse 7 he created the body and he entered through the nostril so when mankind sinned the presence of god left the body amen so when we accept jesus christ of nazareth the holy ghost enter back the body oh god almighty amen and you want to come tell me now? The Romans 12 tell you as well, really? Yes. I beseech you, brethren. By the mercies of God, that you present your body a holy. Amen. Which is a reasonable service. Why did it say reasonable service? Because we were all dead. So we hold the dead to him now. And just like you know, you, you listen carefully. You buy your house and you have a foreclosure. All right, and you go to action. Now the house is five point five million, but you owe ten dollar on the house, 
And the ten dollar where you open the house, you can't find the ten dollar. How much you think they must sell the house for? For ten dollar. Just to get the $10, them sell you $5.5 .5 million to get the receive back them $10. Because them can't collect for the rest of the fight. They can't sell back for the same amount of money. Because you know. them already get that amount already. That is what we call... Yeah. So what they have to do? Are the $10 they have a problem with? And that is why people get OC like nothing. Because it is called recovery. Debt recovery. So we owe God all this debt. And God say, listen to me. Go ahead. Yeah, my problem with, with, with um, church people in general and different denominations is the division. Because the church will be one body. Stop right there, sir. Stop right there, sir. Stop right there, sir. Mm -hmm. Stop right there, sir. Did you know that you have more than one church? Okay. Church, eh? Well, a three church you have. A three owner you have for the church. Three owner you have. You have three different owner for the church. God own one church. Mankind own one church. And Satan own one church. Why do you think you have three different cross? Every cross, the three different cross represent three different church. Yeah, because you, you, you got Satan church where people actually go to that go to the building and worship Satan any. Yes. Yes. So what I want people to understand is very simple. What I want people to understand is very simple. Alright? It's very simple. When any church using olive oil and water belongs to Satan. I, I kid you not. Any church use olive oil and water belongs to Satan and mankind. Yeah, because I hear, I hear you mentioned that you was a, a science man before. So yeah, you yeah. You know these things. Eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. You understand? I know the dark world me used to be. Yeah, people using olive oil um, and then prepare that and not now have. Not now have. But the moment you have the Holy Spirit in you and you call upon Jesus. You know, no, 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 it no, have no, to be specific though. You know, so you have to be specific though. You know, you have to be specific though. It have to be Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You call on Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You have to be specific. The reason for that is very simple. In the dark world, they use the name of Jesus and Jesus Christ to call to summon demons. Demons and devil are called Jesus and Jesus Christ. In the first and second, in the first and second, in the um the first and second events, demons is called uh, in the grave room where we Jamaican call um sixty one and sixty, sixty one and sixty. Those are what sixty is called. The, them believe that them are the stronger one, which is true because those are the fallen angels, and the fallen angels are called Jesus Christ. The grave rim are those who wrap up them head, revivalists. Now, what you need to understand, everybody will wrap up them head. A two thing kingdom them use. Them use the grave, which we Jamaican call Duppy Spirit, which is the ancestral worshipping, and they use the marine spirit. And that is why oftentimes the same people will wrap up them head. Go down a flat bridge. Go said demons down there, which is the mermaid spirit. Tell them to come down there, come sacrifice blood. Let's, if they them not sacrifice blood, them are gonna take people life. You never said that before. People come on national TV, come see so. That same thing. That same thing. The demonic world. Amen. So what I want people to understand, if you don't believe me, then you won't believe Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus Christ of Nazareth said in the book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 24, said many will come in my name and they will say that they are the Christ. Well, these spirits are here. The Bible went on to say that if it wasn't for the Holy Spirit, these same spirit would have deceived you. In fact, in Revelation chapter 3 verse 9, the Bible said in Revelation 3 verse 9 that these spirits are so look alike that the spirit tell God, listen to me, I am your church. And God have rebuked the spirit and said, You are not my church, you belong to Satan. Go ahead, man. 
Who who talking now? Who talking now? Javi. Oh, Javi. Javi Dan. Welcome, Javi. Welcome, Javi. Oh, hold on. Before Javi go any further. Oh, Javi, hold on. Before you go any further. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Before you go any further. Before you go any further. Just, just hold on. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I come in your presence right now. And every spirit that is operating behind this young man. God, I take authority over them right now. And I shut them down and send them back to the pit of hell. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Go ahead now, Javi. Go ahead now. You say, you say the Bible misleads you and the chapter right so my Bible. All you feel there, yes, so as you say, as a minister, you change. You are there, yes, so and I say, the, the, the Bible, it, it, it mislead people. And yet you are going back for Genesis come right up, brother. Javi, Javi, first thing you need to understand. You ask me a question, let me answer now. You ask me a question. Would you give me a chance to answer? Would you give me a chance to answer? If you don't want, all right. What I'm going to do? You are going to make your statement and come off of the platform. Since I said that you want to, no. are you want to ask me question? First thing you need to understand is very simple. First thing you need to understand is very simple. You sound like a Jamaican, don't? Yes, Rabba and Jamaican. Okay. So a Rabba and Jamaican. Me not even go back in the Bible. Me go give you Rabba and Jamaican now. The other day, the government come out. Use the Bible scriptures to back it. Me now want to hear about the revival from the past. Me now want to hear about that. Me want to hear the Bible. Just say James 5, Jesus left only Peter with the church. And James 5 scripture now exists. Verse 14 to 16 now exists. You say none of them now exist. Yet they go back to Genesis over and over. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You come on the platform to learn how you come to debate and tell me what you want to tell me. Well, I come to make sure so you know, lead God people them to hell. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. First thing we need to understand is very simple. In order for the Prime Minister to do everything or to do anything, there is a thing that is called the constitutional law. The constitutional law. Now, the constitutional law is what is known as mankind right. All right? Now, this is the same way it is with the Holy Bible. The Holy Bible is our constitutional right, a constitutional law. Now, what happened is that everything where God say in the Bible, him can't change it again because that is law. That is how it is in the realm of the spirit. Now, what happened is when mankind was translating the Bible, they would have tampered with some of the law. They remove what they want to remove and they put in what they want to put in. But it doesn't mean that the Bible is not right. It means that they... We can approve that. We can approve that, sir. I understand me you the mic for your talk, but listen. The more I make your talk, the more people go astray. For some followers already done, yes, sir, end up by hell with you. But I want all of them end up by hell so oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, Javi, Javi, hold on, hold on, hold on, Javi, Javi, hold on. You ask me a question. You you ask me a question. Could I now talk? 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 Now, what happened is that when God gave mankind, the, 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 listen carefully, the Bible is our constitutional right. Whatsoever God said, that is what happened because God cannot change. Now, what happened is very simple. When the word was being translated, all right, or when the Holy Scripture was being translated from the original version, mankind put in what they want to put into it, and they also extract what they want to extract from it. All right? Now, one of the things that you can find out when they put in and when they extract is what the Holy Spirit. So the Spirit of God. Anytime the Spirit of God not be a witness with what is inside with them right. It means to say that it not have nothing to do with God. What do I mean by this? The Bible is what you use to try the Spirit and not the Spirit to try the Bible. I repeat again. God used the Bible to try the Spirit. And not the spirit to try the Bible. 
Why? Because the Bible is the foundation of God. And even though it was tampered with by man, the truth is still inside it. How do I know this? Simple. One of the biggest lines of the Bible is when the Bible was translated and then put in it say, God remove the rib cage. We are talking about Genesis chapter um, 2, verse 21 and 22. That God. Could I make the final point? Could I make the final point? Could I make the final point? Let me make the final point. Let me make the final point. The Bible said that God put. You hear what? You hear what the Bible said? That God put Adam to sleep. And from the ribcage of Adam, he created Eve. Now, when you read Genesis chapter 1, verse 27, it said that God created them both male and female at the same time. Now, if Genesis chapter 2, verse 21 said, God forgets uh, Adam was um, lonely, and from the ribcage of Adam, he created Eve. Now, this in itself when contrast with Genesis chapter 1, 27, no make no sense. So you know say something go wrong there, so what go wrong there, so what I want people to understand is very simple. I was Yourself lay the foundation. Yourself lay the foundation. I'm laying the foundation. I'm laying the foundation. No, you're going to read it. Go ahead and read it. My Bible could all different from your one. My Bible could all different from your one. So read, your, read that. Read Genesis. Read your Timothy. That's why I don't want to mislead the people because it's different from the Holy Bible, the King James Version. That's why I say read it yourself. Read it yourself. Okay. All scriptures is given by inspiration of God. And it's profitable for he said all scriptures. He said profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. So all you go say, some of the scripture them what were, were in the Bible was tampered with. Was tampered with. It was tampered with. Everything in it come inspired by God. In a matter what you are look for it and hold. Let me ask you one question. 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 Brother, you can mislead the people and so. Let me ask you one question. One question I'm going to ask you. No, I'm going to ask you. 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 The Bible is not tampered with, brother. The Bible is not tampered with. If you want to click me, you can't click me. But the Bible is not. Now, what I want people to understand is very simple. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. In fact, let me take you off of the program. I'm going to take you down. Because you, you're on a mission. And your mission, you can't say, say you know you know belongs to the body of Christ. No, you find about you know belongs to the body of Christ. Cause if you did belongs to the body of Christ, you would have leave, you would have, you would have discussion. What people need to understand is very simple. Very simple. What people need to understand is very simple. People need to understand that the Bible is God holy word. But God was not the one who came down from heaven and wrote the translation of the Bible. Mankind did that. When the Bible was being translated, go ahead. Then it, let, okay, fine. What I'm going to say now will blow your mind. Since of lately, the, the Pope declared that we will no longer say heavenly, heavenly Father anymore. The Pope decide that he's going to change Heavenly Father from the Bible. Because they were, they were debating about um, if, God, if God, we should have recognized him as man in it. Okay. Because of, the, because of the homosexuality they want to bring in. That's why they, they, they're saying that. 
Now what people don't understand is very simple. What people don't understand is very simple. God didn't tamper with the Bible, you know. Of a fuck. The book of Timothy said all scripture was given by God. Through the inspiration. We're not going to say yes and we're not going to say no. Because that is true. Amen. And I kid you not. I end up in the role of sorcery. And I end up commanding demons and all kind of thing. Jabby, um, Josh, I kid you not. I used to communicate with demons and devil. And I used to call them Jesus and Jesus Christ. I kid you not. In fact, the first bath we may give out of St. Thomas. Out of Yalat's pan. Over, you know, the hill, Yalat's pan down here, so, and the hill up there. And the first bath me ever give out of the hill up there. And what I want people to understand is that God carry me into the world of spirituality. And when he came into the world of spirituality and teach me, for one thing God said to me, said, listen to me, I am going to teach you what I want you to know. You know why he said that to me? Because when I went to the church, the church lead me into the spirit of witchcraft. God said, okay, fine. I'm going to teach you everything and then tie you back. Which part are you supposed to do? When the God of heaven start, go ahead. When the God of heaven... A lot of these pastors that got the title, that's why I asked you. Yes. A lot of these pastors are bishops that got the title. They are in that ring. In which room? In the demon ring? Yes, they, yes, yes, yes. Witchcraft and Jezebel. Oh, hold on, hold on. This is how best I can tell you. You see, most of our churches today belongs to Satan in a Jamaica. We can't talk for you over the world. But based upon what I see on YouTube and uh, uh, TV, che notice when Fer Kirk Franklin just came out, we thought that Kirk Franklin belongs to God. Don't. Yeah. Well, Kirk Franklin did belongs to God. When Fer, listen carefully. What people need to understand is very simple. The more you be, listen to me, the more you start to grow spiritually, is the more the realm of the spirit open up to you. And if you're not using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that is when you are going to be led away by demons and devil. And I tell you not, when you're spiritually gifted and not using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that's when the problem start. And that is why often time when person come and say, them are obey me, me say no, and nobody na obey you. Chances are you can be spiritually gifted and because you're not using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth That is what causing the problem. So if anybody will be in you and you are obey yourself because you're not using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Amen. People need to understand these things. I don't teach religion if you come on the platform, Yes, you need to have an open mind because each one teach supposed to teach one you understand? No, no one know everything. You understand? We are God alone. The omniscient God knows everything. Exactly. You exactly. And, and what you are saying, what he's saying is, yeah, um, a God write everything in the Bible. But when you understand, say, it was and a, by God, but a man, right? a man translated, and when it was being translated, that's when they tamper with it. Because a lot of person no know one of the greatest commandments where God gave. Them, one of the greatest commandments. A lot of them don't understand mm -hmm. the King James Version, right? Mm -hmm. King James don't write nothing even authorizes. Yes. A lot of people think King James write the Bible. He don't write the Bible. He authorized the Bible. And why would he authorize the Bible? Yeah, because at the end of the at the end of the day, remember say back in the days, them never be them them not believe in God, you know. Not only that, but King James was a homosexual. And then evil. The one of them, the evil kings and queens, them found it. First thing, first thing, first thing people need to understand, in order to mislead people, you have to tamper with the constitutional right. You have to tamper with the constitutional right. The first thing with them do, okay. if you tamper, listen carefully, the last, um, there's, a, there's a situation that happened out here the other day, um, where the government of Jamaica came out and said, listen to me, we would have overcharged some persons by illegally ticketing them and 
the, 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 the thing is that we were wrong. That's what they said, you know. You see, in order, you see, true, they know I pay with back the money. You know what them do? Then one day, them take to rewrite the law. To rewrite a particular law. If he said, listen to me, X and Z, and just we not pay with back the money when they take from we know. You collect something illegal from the people and you're supposed to give them back. But because you know decide say me not going to give them back. You know what them do? They amend the law in a one sitting. Just to keep the people their money. That is how it is in the Bible. So in order for us to promote homosexuality, notice what happened. Paul was a Catholic priest. I can bet say um this individual will company um Javidan no know about it. A long time me I watch Javidan, you know, come me go up on the platform with him yesterday. And that is why um when he came on the platform I start pray. Because me understand him portfolio. Jav Javidan is one of them who said, Listen to me, there is no God. The God is you. That is one of where him teach. Alright? And so what happened is what I realize is the spirit that is operate around him. He won't go use the Bible when it's convenient for him. That's when he use the Bible. Alright? Now, the reason why I say this, that's what it... So, what I'm saying is very simple. Listen carefully. On this... Yes. So, what I want people... What I want people to understand, a lot of person didn't even know that Paul was a Catholic priest. You didn't know that Paul was a Catholic priest?
a half on time. Anytime you see them change, all of a sudden the man them start sound like a woman. Hi. Not around here. Oh. Amen. I kid you not. Anytime you go up there and talk about houses, oh, 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 and like you listen to me, at them time they the fish spirit take you over. So what I want people to understand, the Catholic Church is Satan Church. And the revivalist church are mankind church. And I kid you not. Ah, no, you're talking. No, you're talking. So the question, therefore, is when you call yourself a revivalist, what does it mean? Because everything has a meaning. First thing you need to understand when you said revival, mean that you're the dead. And then you come alive. That is the word revival. That is the word revival. And when you call yourself revivalist, it, huh? You have been revived. You have been revived. That's what it means. You have been revived. Amen. That is the word revivalist. But when you now take it upon yourself and start worship necromancy spirit. Amen. This is where the worshipping of the dead come in. But you're, you're worshipping your ancestral. And that is where the food come in and this. That is when you're going to the next level. They tell you about the, tell you about the ap apocryphal spirit in it. Yes. Um, in in um, Deuteronomy. Yes. You understand? Because you, you can get the good, good gift of God in it. The Holy Spirit in it. I I fly fly getting out here. I I man, you understand? So you know where you become now. One thing I want you to understand. You see, you know why I'm not taking off of the platform already. You you, you 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 know exactly what you're saying because what I want people to understand. People, hear what the gentleman said a while ago. All good gifts come from God. I know that's I know so him put it, but that's what I put it. In that James chapter 1, verse 17, it said, All good gifts come from God. Did you know say every Uber man started out good? Every Uber woman started out good. But because when you start to grow in the realms of the spirit and the spirit world start to talk to you, you say Javidan, you know, can't can't talk like them. Because Javidan never have spirit to talk to him. Javidan I come to me from religion. Me can't talk religion. That is the first thing. I cannot talk religion. So if you ever talk to me about the spirit realm. Go ahead. I tell no people. I tell, I tell no people, you know, you understand? Yes. If you look into the Bible alone for guidelines, then you'll be, la you'll be lost. Big time. You Big understand? time. That is why he said. That That's is why. He said he's, he's going to give send the Holy Spirit that a truth. Yeah, well, in Matthew 20, that's why I tell you, you know, the comforter will come. And, and tell you every, teach you everything. The first yes, thing Jesus if came you, here. If you want to just look on the man made Bible, yes. and don't know God personally for yourself, then you're the last soul. Big time. Big time. But you're not saved. You're the last soul. Jabi, ja, Josh, you're not saved. Yeah. Josh, you're not saved. Yeah, you know, save. They know that they're tell you, the way you talk, you know, save. I said, they're tell you, say, you know, save. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> because where you say, make all the sense. Where you say, make all the sense. Let me tell you something about my saving, yeah? Yes. I get, I get saved in a, in a Sunday church according to them, them days, yeah? Yes. I get sent in, into a Sunday church and get filled in a Pentecostal church. What you gonna tell me now? Good question. You understand me? Good question. So, so people are gonna say, people, people will come to me and say, which, which need him you baptized in? I say, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. I say, what is the problem? They say, Jesus only. I say, I say, yeah, Jesus only because we get sealed, we get filled in a Pentecostal church. So what are you gonna say now? God is everywhere. Not only that, not only that, not only just, but the by this, this is the script. This is the scripture that you should be using, Josh. This is a, this is the scripture that you should be using. I was baptized with water, but I received the baptism of Christ in the testament. In the um, the the uh, uh, um, which you just say, which you just say, the Pentecost. 
The Bible said, John indeed baptized with water. But he, John turned and said, listen to me. Me baptize you in a religion. But he who come after me will baptize you with the true word of God. That's what J John said, you know. A lot of people, you see the revelation where we get, enough people get them. John said, listen to me. Make baptize. John said, I baptize you according to the religion of man, to the confession of your sin. But he who come after me, who is the Holy Spirit, he will baptize you when him sister your heart clean. Him choose to go in, who him want go in. That's what it mean. That's what, listen to me. That's what it mean. So you can baptize from now till the morning if you don't have the Holy Spirit of God inside of you. You can baptize in the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus, Jesus. You can use up all of the Jesus you want. If your hand is not clean and your heart is not pure, you're going to hell. A lot of we come at talk about baptizing this and baptizing that and baptizing this and baptizing that. First thing I want to tell you. If Javi want to learn, I cannot but Javi, but Javi don't want to learn. Javi is on a motivation speech. Add him back. First thing to comment. First thing to comment. Go ahead. Yes. All right. Earlier. You know, what me a cuss for? I'm a cuss. Me don't say. Earlier you say, GMs, five, are needed because a people that the church come to. Now, I want to ask, so why that you have two GMs one? When I was explaining the scripture. So why you can't try it? I say, that's all I want to ask. Okay, let me let me clarify my statement. I did not said that all I said was very simple. The church was not given to James. The church was given to Peter. That's what I said. And I gave you Peter and gave you Matthew chapter 16, 18 and 19 where God said, listen to me. Upon this rock I build the church and the gate of hell shall not prevail and whatsoever you bind in earth shall be bound in heaven. That is spirituality. That is not religion. That is spirituality. So the church was in religion when Christ came. Now, before he left, he bring the church into spirituality. Now, me can't talk religion because me no know no more religion. I kid you not. I don't know religion. I know spirituality. So when I was in the realms of the spirit as a Uber man, the Lord carried me back now when he saved me in the Bible. And then me ca Go ahead, go ahead. Yes. No. What I want you to understand, you know, Javi. This is Javi. What I want you to understand, you know. Javi, what I want you to understand. This is not about me, because me already have for me truth. This is not about you because you already have your truth. But we have innocent people upon the platform seeking, genuinely seeking the truth. And so if you believe you have the truth, please to talk your truth. That's all we want to know. But what I want you to understand is very simple. What I share on the platform is spirituality. Go ahead. I believe that. I, I believe that. I be yes. So let me and you ask me a question. You ask me a question if you ask me a question. Me can't 
go against your belief. So let me ask you one. Let me ask you one question. Let me ask you one question. All right, stick up in now. Stick up in now. Stick up in now. Let me ask you one question. Just stick up in and let me ask you one, one question. Just stick up in and let me ask you one question. All right, one question. Who is Jesus Christ of Nazareth? John 3, 16, tell us. For God so loved the world that he sent his own begotten son. He don't only begotten son, he's all about the world of Jesus Christ. We understand who cry on that cross for our sins and our transgression. So we may have to pray in our life. Okay, so stop right there now. Stop right there. So you said Jesus Christ of Nazareth is Almighty God, Son, and you left it right there. That's what you said. So I'm going to ask you again. I'm going to ask you again. No, from a different point of view. I'm going to ask you no, from a different point of view. All right, the same question, but a different point of view. Is Jesus Christ of Nazareth Almighty God Himself? Jesus, He said, I give Him and Him give Him. You understand? Jesus Christ and God become one. But yes, He is God. He is the Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ. I'm going to ask you again. Is it a yes or no? Is Jesus Christ of Nazareth is Almighty God Himself? They are what? They are the Bible says, No body I want to tell you so. Jesus said in my word, When you come to my Father, you have to come to me as the Lord Jesus Christ at that time. Right? Javi, Javi, the question I asked you, you said, you said, for God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son. I'm asking you a question because if Jesus is God's son, listen carefully, I'm going to ask you now, if Jesus is God's son, how is it that I'm ask I'm asking you now? Is Jesus also the Father? No, 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 no. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. I'm me ask you now. I'm me ask you now. I'm me ask you now. Is Jesus Christ? I'm Javi. Javi. I'm me ask you now. I'm me ask you now. Is Jesus Christ of Nazareth Almighty God Himself? Just answer the question, Javi. Is Jesus Christ of Nazareth Almighty God Himself? Yes or no? Is Jesus Christ of Nazareth Almighty God? Javi. Javi. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. From this, from the scripture, from the scripture, Javi, from the scripture that you read, is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Almighty God, the Father? Let me let, let me you, you ready for you ready for me take you to another place now? You ready for me take you to another place now? Cause first thing you need to understand. 
first thing you need to understand when me talk I must apologize on this platform this platform is for adult not baby and so when me talk I talk for the advanced class but baby is among us today but I did not know and for that I do apologize first thing we need to understand who is Jesus Jesus is the son of God is Jesus almighty God himself yes is Jesus the Holy Spirit yes how is it that Jesus play all three role very simple as God the Bible said in John chapter as in as in St. John chapter 4 verse 24 he said the time is they said the time is now and the time is here when the father choose to seek those who worship him why in spirit and in truth why because God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth that's Bible that's Bible okay how does he Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let Javi talk. Let Javi talk. Let Javi talk. Well, first thing, hold on, 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 Javi. Let me see if we get this right. You're saying that in the beginning was the word, the word was God, the word is God. That's what you're saying. Okay. Now, 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 what I'm going to ask you, what I'm going to ask you, Javi, Javi, what I'm going to ask you is very simple. If I were on your, if let's just say you're my pastor, and I come to you and say, Pastor Javi, I want you to explain how is it that Jesus is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in one. How would you explain to me? If I was your, your congregant, one of your congregant, and I come to you and said, Javi, Pastor Javi, I read John chapter 3, 16, where it said, Jesus, for God so loved the world that he gave his own begotten son. And then I read that Jesus prayed to God, and then the Holy Spirit. I'm now confused. So, Pastor, can you explain this to me? What would your explanation be? When he asked, the, the phone kind of the echo, that's why I'm not understanding what he asked. No, actually, he can't confuse me. I hope you know what I'm saying, he can't confuse I'm going to ask again. 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 And this is not a confusion. This is not a confusion. But hold on before you ask. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on before you ask. Just a second. Just a second. Let me just check. The echo. It, it echo in the same way? It echo in the same way? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Alright. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? It echo in the same way? Javi, I'm going to take you down. S send me back a request. Send me back a request. May I go take you down? Send me back a request. Yeah. Send me back a request. 
You see, these are the things we love, you know. You get me? These are the things we love. Where people come on the ear and you talk your truth. And then we can talk. But if you come on the ear, if you cuss me out, I can't manage that. I can't manage that. Because I don't do religion. He's, re he's, he's repeating, this, he's repeating um, first John. He's repeating John. Yes. Yeah. I can't do religion. When, when he's saying that, he's, he's, he's contradicting in himself, isn't he? Because Jesus is right there and then it's telling him that Jesus is still God. Where Javi there? More on Javi come back up. Because on this platform, listen carefully people. On this platform, I'm going to tell you this. I can't do religion. If I do, if me do religion, I'm going to beat me because I don't know religion. I know spirituality. In fact, in fact, in fact, when Ian Bowen was alive, when Ian Bowen was alive, I went to Ian Bowen and I said, Ian Bowen, I was X and X. I was once a sorcerer. I got saved on X and X. Can you give me a chance to explain to the people on religious art talk? Ian turned to me and said, listen to me. I know religion and I know the Bible. But I do not know spirituality. I kid you not. That's what Ian Bowen said to me. I do not know spirituality. And because I do not know spirituality, I cannot hear you on religious art talk. One month before Ian died, I went to him at JIS. That is right, uh, um, um, where the road, the name between Alfredshire Road and um, uh, where the where the road where you turn this off, right where, um, before you reach Emancipation Park. Maybe that's the name, Chelsea Avenue, right there, so right at the stop like this. So I went to him there and I said, Ian, can't you just give me five minutes? So that the people will have a better understanding. Because all persons in Jamaica look up to you. Let people see say God step away from religion right now. When did God step away from religion? The Bible said Jesus Christ of Nazareth came here. And when he saw the fig tree. A lot of person in the know say in the Bible. Fig tree represent religion. The Bible said he was hungry for the worshipping of man. And when he saw that religion, which is the fig tree, could not brought, bring man to him, the Bible said he cursed the fig tree and immediately religion dry up. How did I reach there? How did I reach there? Very simple. Let us go back to Bible. In Genesis chapter 1, in Genesis chapter 3, verse 6, the Bible said the woman, when it said the woman, it was not talking about Adam's wife. And it was not talking about Eve. It was talking about the church. And the church had a problem from day one. People. When the Bible said woman, it means church. And the church had a problem from day one. So the Bible said that. And the woman, which is the church. When you see the spirit of, of um, knowledge. That's what it means. Knowledge. The spirit of knowledge is also called the spirit of divination. When the spirit of divination presents itself to the church, the church accepts it as being the true church of God, the true spirit of God. The Bible said immediately after the woman accepted, the church accepted. What happened next is verse 7. The Bi Go and read the Bible. Me tell people, me not talk religion, me talk spirituality. The Bible said immediately they took together. Amen. They, 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 they took what? Fig leaf. The same fig tree where Jesus cursed represent religion in a Genesis 3 verse 7. That's what it represents. They took fig leaf because they were trying to mend back the coverage, the spiritual coverage with religion. And the Bible said that when they tried to sow the fig leaf together, what the Bible means sow? Sow means put together religion, mankind. Put together religion to find God in our spiritual world. When Jesus came here, he saw the religion of man, Kafayas. And the first thing Jesus said, Call no man on earth your father. He was talking about the Catholic Church. Javino, come back yet. So when me attack, nobody think of confusion, me a curse. If you don't understand spirituality, if you don't understand spirituality, me can't speak. No, no make no sense to you because you don't have the spirit of God inside of you. 
not care about what you think, you know, but when you mislead the people, they may wrong, brother. All right, yeah. we're going to ask you a question now. Jabby, yeah, so let us go back to the question now. Can you hear me? You hear me loud and clear now. Are you, are you ready now? Are you ready now? Are you ready now to answer my question? Are you ready to answer? Are you ready to answer directly about James? That is the first thing when I came on. Okay, okay, let me answer about James. 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 Okay. Come on, but we can answer. Why is it that I'm telling people to go and read the Bible? And yet the Bible is wrong at the same time. I said the Bible was what tampered with. I never said wrong. I said tampered with. So you not so when I tell people go and read the Bible. Oh, they go know what right then. You that is where the spirit of truth come in. That is where the spirit of truth come in. One of the uh, all right, fine, Javi. Let me uh, let me let me listen carefully. You said you go no. You said you were going to teach people, you know. You said you was going to teach. And I give you the platform to teach. But you come out and cuss out now. No, no, no. No, no. You weren't on the platform when I was talking. Me just put you up. I was there. Me there here early. I was here. Javi, me just accept you on the platform. You weren't here. Okay, you're on the screen. All right, go ahead. Okay. Javi, I'm going to ask you again. I'm going to ask you again. I'm going to ask you again. Are you going to answer the question about James? Okay, First. fine. I'm going to ask. I'm going to answer the question about right. James. So, right. this is... So, could you, could, you, could you stop now and let me answer James? Yes. Okay. Right. First thing we need to understand. Alright? I'm going to answer the book of James. Oh. James chapter 5, verse 14, to be exact. I'm going to an answer that. Now, what we need to understand... Javi, could you mute your mic for me, please? You asked Josh to mute your mic. Never ask you to mute, mute your one. In James chapter 5, in James chapter 5, verse 14, listen carefully. James said that you should call the elders of the church and you should anoint the persons who are sick with oil. Now, if you understand, he said, anoint them with oil. James did not tell you what kind of oil. How did we come by olive oil? Very simple. All the way back in Exodus, the Bible said that, I'm going to give you as far as Genesis, after the flood of Noah, alright, after the flood of Noah, the Bible said that Noah sent out a bird. The bird went away and the bird did not come back. Alright? Latter person is of the opinion that the bird that Noah sent out was a drunk crow because he go find dead meat and he no come back. That is religion. Me no know about it, but that is religion. Leave it at that. The Bible said that Noah sent out another bird, and when the bird fly and fly and no find no way, the bird come back. Noah realized the water upon the earth. The Bible said that he sent out the bird another time, but this time the bird is a dove. Alright, may I quote as best as possible when me remember. The Bible said when he sent it out, it was a dove. And when he sent out the dove, the dove fly and brought back a piece of leaf, a branch in his mouth. And it was of a, the leaf of an olive branch. At best of the word, olive oil come from. Olive oil represent grace. When the dove came back, the dove was actually representing the anointing which is the Holy Ghost. The same anointing when John baptized Christ. The Bible said that he saw the appearance of a dove. The same dove that, anoint, what, that Noah sent out to find yeah. Jailan. Go ahead. No, you may believe so you can't judge yourself because it was in the New Testament. And you say when when persons were not the aisle me talk about and the aisle me talk about not the aisle me talk about no 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 we have to talk about the explanation of the aisle where the aisle come from can I talk about the aisle if me not give you a preview where the aisle come from okay me make a talk so let me say so so my this is the kick you off me now kick you off now Mark six verse thirteen you say and they were casting out many demons that were anointing with oil. You understand? Let me answer. Can I answer your question first? Can I answer your question? I, I am answering your question. Will you allow me to answer the question? 
Javi, you can take yourself off the platform, you know, or you can just continue to debate. Will you allow me to explain? 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 Javi, I'm gonna mute you. I'm gonna mute you, Javi. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna mute you. I'm gonna mute you, Javi. I'm gonna mute you. All right. Now, what I want people to understand is very sim, very simple. Everything in the Bible is symbolic. Anything we in the Bible, we don't give you a spirit. Listen carefully. The Bible is a physical book. And there is a spiritual message behind everything. Why? Because God is a spiritual God. I repeat again. The Bible may be a physical book. But there is always a spiritual message behind it. So what happened is that. The dove that Moses, that um, Josh, um, Noah sent out is the same dove. Now, Noah sent out the physical dove because a lot of persons don't understand. When God said, listen what happened. When God said to Noah, Noah, the sin of mankind come up to me. Now, I want you to make an ark. A lot of persons don't know, say the ark. You see the ark? The ark is the first church we ever built to God. The ark is not just a boat. The ark was a church, a physical church body. A lot of people don't know them sitting there. Amen? The ark is a physical church. Amen? That's what the ark represents. The, the physical ark of Noah was representing the spiritual church of Jesus Christ of Nazareth today. Now, the reason why I'm saying this, listen carefully, a lot of you read the Bible, and you don't understand the spiritual message behind the Bible. A data own a problem, and a data cause a problem. God is a spirit, and if God speaking to us in the realms of the spirit, he might go use the physical things of the earth, so that we can understand the spiritual things of him. So when he sent out the physical dove, the physical dove is the same representation when he baptized in the river Jordan. The Bible said a voice came from heaven in the form of a dove. The dove came down from um, above. In the, the, the Spirit of God came down in the form of a dove. And he sit on the right hand side of Jesus' arm. And the Bible said that the voice came from heaven and said, This is my only begotten son in whom I am well pleased. How is it that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is unhurt and the voice of God speaking to him from heaven? That's what I asked Javi. Is Jesus Christ of Nazareth God? Javi couldn't answer me. Because him just not know spirituality. No, the Father is one and the Jesus is one. Of course the Father is one and Jesus is one. Because what the Bible said. But how do you explain the two of them to be one? That is what I ask. That is just a simple question. How do you explain the two of them to be one? Because if you asking me, a mere man, when I know nothing about God, when I know nothing about Christianity, when you tell me, say, Jesus in the earth, I'll be baptized by John, but yet still a voice from heaven claiming to be the Father, I talk to him. Me no understand that, me confuse. Explain to me by that now. Now, only a true believer who know God can explain that. Only a true believer. If you can't explain it if you're not spiritually awoken. Because the Bible in itself sounds contradicting. And that is why often time people not have nothing to do with Christendom. Why? Because Christendom is foolishness. To the intelligent man, Christianity is foolishness. To the well-thinking man, Christianity is foolishness. Why? Because the things of God, the things of the Spirit, is foolish when it comes to the flesh. What am I talking about? Let us go to the Bible. Let us go to the Bible. 
First thing we need to understand God is a spirit And as a spirit being God could not come to the earth Because no spirit being Have the legal right To be in the earthly realm In the physical world No spirit being No have no right to be there But yet still the Bible said God is a spirit And they who worship him Must worship him in spirit and in truth Now the reason why God Would have to do what he did Very simple It was mankind who would have sinned against him And because mankind sinned against him him now if he come into mankind world Come fix mankind problem Now as God is a spirit He can come into mankind world So let me give you a Bible In the book of Isaiah 9, 6 It said Unto us a child is born Jesus of Nazareth Unto us a son is given St. John 3 Verse 16 The same as Let us continue It said that unto us a child is born Jesus Christ of Nazareth Unto us a son is given Jesus Christ of Nazareth And the government Meaning the responsibility Between God and man Shall be upon his shoulder Shoulder mean responsibility That's what it means You put your wheel to the shoulder You put your wheel to the responsibility That's what it means so these are fi fi um, a speech And the speech are, 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 are something they, What they use to describe In those days They use this, this term of speech So that you can understand what is going on Even today When God showing you your spiritual life He show your car instead of us Why? Because in the old days we used to use us Today we use car So anytime you have a dream and say car And your spiritual life got to talk about When you say boss He must show you the church so God always used the things of the earth so that we can understand his spiritual message where my set away. I tell you already, you know, me not preach spiritually, me not preach religion, because I no religion, me no spirituality. Jabi, the man say, ah, yes, man, if you have anything to say, you have, you have, you have all right to stop me, you know. <laughs> Don't stay up here and be yes, man. Don't stay up here and be yes, man. Oh. Because the job is not to convert you or anybody It's to make you think for yourself Now, what happened is in Isaiah 9, 6 Unto us a child is born, Jesus Christ of Nazareth Unto us a son is given, Jesus Christ of Nazareth And the government of heaven In other words, he shall be the mediator between God and man That's what it means And the Bible said Listen carefully what the Bible said He shall be called the mighty con he shall be called the prince of peace amen one he shall be called the counselor wonderful counselor prince of peace but what's so unique about this is the very term the bible said he shall be called mighty god oh god almighty oh jesus of nazareth now that in itself is a title unto itself and then you know stop here so the Bible went on to say He shall be called the everlasting Father So when they ask Javi Who is Jesus Christ of Nazareth And this is a scripture I didn't expect Javi to draw Jesus Christ of Nazareth Is Almighty God in the spirit But him is Jesus Christ of Nazareth In the flesh Let us go to Bible You have learned God that's what you are Javi That's what you are now the Bible said That in John chapter 1 Verse 1 In the beginning was the word The same word is God The same word Take on to itself Jump down to verse 14 now The word take God now come to hurt you know Because as God He now have no right to come in a human affair But because mankind sin And mankind have to pay for the death Because mankind no pay for the death Evil spirit of them bound for days and decades And so God said listen to me Me have to restore back mankind unto me But I can't do it as God So me have to use the body In other words what God was actually saying I am asking mankind to be holy And mankind cannot be holy If me not come down Come show them to be holy And that's why Jesus Christ of Nazareth Come here 
come show you say you can be holy while living in the flesh. That's why the Bible tells us in the book of Hebrew, he can be felt by our infirmities. God is a God of justice. He not just ask you if you live holy. He come down and show you so it can be done. That's why he take on the body of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now, how did Jesus Christ of Nazareth came about? The Bible said in Revelation chapter 5, In search the heaven, no no hope they were no worthy. In search the heart, no no hope they no found worthy. Amen. In search underneath the heart, which is the pit of hell, no no hope under the no found worthy. So how him all come to hurt if nobody not did it for save but mankind? The Bible said that the angels of heaven and the elders begin to weep. And then a voice said, weep not. And then when the elders look, in other words, God not do nothing without the elders. Let me know. Because the 24 elders where they stand up before the throne and are witnessing Jesus Christ of Nazareth coming to the earth. Go read Bible. Je Revelation chapter 5 For those of you bigots Really just bigots who come and hear God is a spiritual God And he sends spiritual message So you come here and attack your garbage And you come here Attack like God is just a physical God If God was a physical God Satan we are spirit overpower him Because the Bible said We wrestle not against flesh and blood So if God is just a mere blood Then our flesh Then Satan would have overpower him and take away everything here where Bible said, God is a spirit. So a spirit thing couldn't come to the hurt. So every spirit need a body. So you know what that do? Him search the heaven and the hurt and can't find one body. We're worthy enough to go live in. The Bible said in Acts chapter 10, 38, how God created in other words oh god made the body of jesus of nazareth so as jesus of nazareth listen carefully that is why he's often called jesus of nazareth why jesus of nazareth is a temple the body is a temple just like oh um josh is now saying do he not that your body is a temple so god want him spirit to live into a temple a body for me upon the earth and that is why St. John chapter 1, 14 said, God take unto himself a body. What is the body? Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Um, Acts chapter 10, 38 said, Oh God anointed the body of Jesus of Nazareth and in them put it in a Mary womb. And they, well, listen carefully. Mary did not give birth to the Christ. You know? Mary gave birth to the body of Jesus of Nazareth. I repeat again, Mary did not give birth to the Christ. Amen? She gave birth to the body of Jesus of Nazareth. Now what I want mankind to understand is very simple. Very, very simple. When Jesus of Nazareth baptized by John, at them time did the Christ enter him. All along he was called Jesus Christ. He was called Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus of Nazareth. But as soon as he was baptized by John, the Bible said they saw the Holy Ghost descending from heaven as a dove. The same dove when Noah sent out. And the same dove the Holy Ghost choose to take on. Why? Because when God destroyed the earth, God showed them the, 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 the rainbow color and him showed them the dove. And he said, listen to me. The dove represent Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The rainbow represent Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus Christ of Nazareth represent mercy. All of them thing here was a representation of him. All of them. So don't get confused. I tell you, say, I don't know spirit, I don't know religion, I know spirituality. So when me talk, I spirituality, me speech, I may give you Bible. And so why you need to understand, this is in line with Bible. Because when Jesus was, go ahead, you want to say something? You remember when, when Jesus was speaking to the woman, the Samaritan woman? Yes, at the well. yes. Yeah, and Jesus tell her everything about herself and she jump her water pot and say, come see a man who tell me all about, my, all about myself. 
You understand? Yes. The woman was confused because the woman, the woman was saying to Jesus, say, how come thou be not Jews and I'm a Samaritan and you are yeah, dealing with me because the Jews don't deal with the Samaritan in them time. Exactly. You exactly. But Jesus said to her, to her say, if you know who asks the woman, Stop right there, sir. Stop right there, sir. Stop right there, sir. Stop right there, sir. When Jesus asks, if you know who I am, let me shed light on this. The spiritual message behind it. Your point, your point out a good point, but let me give you the spiritual message behind it. When Jesus said, if you only know who I am, Jesus was actually saying, I am Almighty God and I cannot be partial when it comes to me picking them. So whether you are Jews or Samaritan, that's what Je that is the spiritual message that Jesus was sending the woman. You're telling me that how come you are Jews? Jews, Jesus said, listen to me. Religion said I am this and religion said I am that. But in the spirit realm, I am your daddy. And as your daddy, whether you are handicapped or you, you know handicapped, me can't be partial against you. That's what it means. Amen. Because because he was saying, because the woman was saying that, you know, you people worship in the temple, and we worship in Jerusalem, so he's telling it, it doesn't matter where you worship. Yes. As long as you worship God in spirit and in truth. Exactly. That is the bottom line I'm saying. Because, notice like, what he said, notice what he said. Notice what he said, the time is now and the time is here when the true worshiper shall worship him in spirit and in truth. Now, first thing you need to understand, if everything in the Bible was right, would you believe Kafaya should have get it wrong? No. Kafaya knew the Bible funny like him hand back. Listen carefully. We are talking about the high priest now. He wouldn't get it wrong. What I want people to understand, there is two messages. In the Bible, yeah. there is a physical message yeah. and there is a spiritual message. Yeah, this one I say, yeah, and that's what happening today is day because you have a lot, you have a lot of in there. Um, we call it theologian preacher, but they still, they still don't know God because they have the spirit of God. Exactly, but uh, it doesn't matter if you know the Bible from from Genesis to Revelation. If you have the spirit, if you have the, you have the Holy Ghost, you interpret the Bible to you. You never understand the Bible. You ne listen to me. I don't care who you be. If you have the spirit of truth inside anyway, of you, you never understand the Bible. Anyway, my brother, the yes man of believe you now, you know. No man, don't 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 make them give you no name tag like you take the, the no take it, no take it. Listen to me. Don't take no name tag from yeah, Javi. We just allow for some people just ignorant and they don't want, they don't want, they don't want to learn, they don't want to listen, they just feel to say everything they said is right, isn't it? No, first thing you need to understand is very simple. Every, I know everybody a guy, you know. That's why the Bible said many are called and few chosen. Continue to remain the true chosen one, the true chosen one, alright? I know everybody a guy, I know everybody a guy. You see? I want, I want to me no, no, I can't eat nobody, whether anybody comes say anything bad against me. But Amen. If you want to eat me, that, that, that's how for you. You understand? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. In life, you can't get everybody to love you. You understand? Exactly. Exactly. So you, have to, you have to show them love if you are even the true and living God. Amen. It doesn't matter what they, it doesn't matter what they do, I say. And that is why, you see, I often... Blessing up on you. So take your down now. Yeah, man. Keep up the good work. All right. So what I want people to understand is very simple. As God, he is a spirit. And as spirit being, he couldn't come to the earth. So in order for him to now come to the earth, he must find a body. Now the only body that he, when he searched heaven and earth, he couldn't find one. So the only thing he could do next is St. John chapter 1 verse 14. The word take unto himself a body and dwell among us. Acts chapter um, 10 38 said, he taken a body. So John chapter 1 14 said, him take unto himself a body. And then Acts chapter 10 13 said, him anoint the body when him take on and put now the spirit of Jesus Christ of Nazareth into it. I saw him dip on the earth. 
Now, what I want people to understand is very simple. This is a God that He is a God. <laughs> Listen carefully. He is a God that choose to live among mankind. How did He do, did this? The Bible said that a virgin shall conceive and bring forth a son and the son shall live with us now when the son was living with us the son was the promise of jehovah god so that is why the bible said he shall be called emmanuel emmanuel is being interpreted according to the book of matthew chapter 1 as god with us so here is god living with us in the body of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In other words, here is Brother Smith on the platform sharing with you. Amen. In the, listen carefully. And the Holy Ghost inside of me. God Himself inside of me. Come me tell God, use my body. Amen. This is everything that Christian should be doing. Christian should be telling God, take me out of religion. Take me out of religious belief. And teach me your truth. Because the hour is now his and is now here when the true worshipper shall worship him in spirit and in truth. So who is Jesus Christ of Nazareth? Almighty God. Who is Almighty God? Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Who is the Holy Ghost? Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Then how Jesus said, I'm going to send the comforter. Very simple. While he was in the body. I repeat again. While he was in the body. He could not take on glory to the flesh. I repeat again. While he was in the body of Jesus of Nazareth, he couldn't take on glory unto himself. Because if he went to take on glory to himself, it would mean that there would be no false teacher. It would mean that there would be no false preacher. And so people could rob in the name of the Lord and not, not come out of it. Why? Because may I follow Jesus who take glory to himself in the flesh. You don't know, understand what I want. Huh? Notice. The true gospel. Let me give you a revelation. This is what Peter said. I am not rich in silver and gold. In other words, silver and gold me not have none. Me not rich in the richness of the world, but I'm rich in Christ. That's what Pete, Pete him said. One thing you need to understand, our pastors today, they are rich in substances, poor in God. One of the richest church today you have right now is the Catholic Church. Amen? The Catholic Church is one of the richest church you have now. Amen. So now by the things in the church poor. The church rich. Selfish. Because it now belongs to God. Amen. Now I want you to understand. Very simple. Listen to it. When God speak. There is always a spiritual message. Behind it. So if you see the physical. Message. You need to know. Ask God. For the spiritual message. If you get a vision and dream. There is a physical message. And there is also a spiritual message. A lot of us say numbers. And run go by lotto. And no no say. Numbers mean things in the realm of the spirit. Everything in the Bible makes sense when you understand the realm of the spirit and you can only understand the realm of the spirit when you have the spirit of truth inside you amen ninja let me see who are there all right so ninja did ask me if you put him up all right so what i realize is that anytime nobody just come who just come always push down the one where they did a long time. So I know Velma was there a long time, but I know I hear from Velma today. Velma, no disrespect. But I know I hear from you today. And the reason why I know I hear from you today, me and you can talk off the here because me and you are a big friend like that. Amen? So what I'm going to do is to overlook Velma for now. 
All right? All right. All right. God pick me. May I go put up you? Velma, me are a big friend. So you don't have to talk to me today. Come here, you don't have to talk on TikTok for talk. You have my number, 3376685. Three, three, six, six, me and your friend, me and you can talk anytime. A people who me and them are no friend. Amen. Come up on the, the life. Amen. Amen. So me invite up um God Pitney. God Pitney, how you not come up yet? Okay. Let me see what is going on here. So it is saying connecting for God Pitney. Let me go yes or no. Um, let me see this individual. This individual. As much as I only did the life. Watch out. All right. Wow. Okay. So this individual. I'm going to hear where, where, where um, Ninja is. Ninja is put him up. Let me hear where Ninja is. I finally got revelation. Thank you. Who was Jesus Christ of Nazareth? Yes, bro. Almighty God. Praise the Lord, my brother. How are you? Not bad, sir. Boy, may I listen to what I know, you know? Yes, welcome. He's afraid to add me. Right. Oh, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Please, I beg you, hold on. You go. No go nowhere. You go. Please, no go nowhere. Me, I go put you up next. No go nowhere. Me, listen to me. Me not like competition, but me like when people have big mouth. I hope you can defend your talk. Me afraid, are you? Oh. Ah. I hope you come with truth. Go ahead, Ninja. Okay, um, so I was hearing you listening for quite a while. Yes. Um, on the topic of Jesus and God and that they are um actually based on how you put it that like Jesus is God. I know me, sister. I know me, sister. Bible sister. Bible sister. Alright, the Bible. Okay. So so alright, I I don't know much scripture by and I can tell you but I can't find them. But anyway. So in the Bible, when it says, come, let us say, man, who was talking to what at that time? Okay. In Genesis. So first thing we need to understand is that God is a kingdom. All right? God is a government. God is a kingdom. We know that the almighty God, based upon what I have known, based upon my experience with God, in the realm of the spirit, we're not talking about Bible now, in the realm of the spirit, based upon our um, knowledge and my knowledge of God, God do things before it happens. Like for instance, one of the things that did you know that we sin in a Genesis chapter three? Did you know that salvation was created for us in Genesis chapter two nine? Okay. In Genesis two nine it said, Oh God God created in the earth every tree to grow. When the Bible talk about tree, it means the spirit of man and the spirit of a spirit being. So God created the spirit being, amen. And so caused to grow. And the Bible said the tree of life, referring to Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Almighty God Himself, was placed in the middle of the garden. And then it said the tree of knowledge, which is the knowledge of mankind and the knowledge of Satan. The knowledge of good and evil was now placed on either side. Relax, no man. Relax, so may I say, no man. Relax, no. Just listen to me, I say. Just listen to me, I say. May I go explain everything? Come in and leave you in a no shamble. May I explain everything? So the Bible said that this tree of knowledge of good and evil was now on one side. Jesus Christ of Nazareth died, and his cross was in the middle. Mankind, which was on the right hand side, was on one side. That is the tree of good. Mankind and this tree of knowledge. Of evil was on the left hand side. This is the spirit we refuse to repent. All right. Now, what I want people to understand is very simple, very very simple. The reason why I said the tree of good of knowledge and evil is very simple. When the spirit approached Eve in Genesis chapter three, verse six, the Bible said, "And the tree of knowledge." Now that the Bible said. The reason why I say this is because I want you to understand. 
when the, you are uh, interpret the Bible, you have to go from Genesis to Revelation. You have to go from Revelation to Genesis. Why? Because the Bible said, listen to me, anything we start in at the beginning must have an ending, Revelation. And anything we have an ending must have a beginning. Now, what you need to understand, when, there was, when God was selecting who would have been the one to come and die for mankind, did you know that you have 24 elders that was standing there? Listen carefully. 24 elders were standing there. Now the 24 elders represent the 12 tribe of Israel and the 12 disciples. Remember, you know, Jesus of Nazareth now come to the earth yet, you know. But yet still, the elders was, this, was laborating. They were deliberating who was going to die for mankind. You get me? That is how God is. What we are doing is that we are put God in our box. We think say God save as in go along. God plan out everything before everything happened. That's why the Bible said we were predestinated. Go ahead. You can have a shot. You said something about the 24 elders, right? Yes. But based, based, on, based on what I've read and what I've understood, the, 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 the 24 elders of the tribe of Israel would not have been in them yet. <laughs> because remember, if, from my understanding, yes. Because if you are saying that the, the twenty-four elders on the tribe of um, Judah, it, Israel, then it, 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 the nice panel platform, the nice panel platform. He was not created yet. Why would you have the twelve tribe of, of Israel now, um, the twenty-four elders in, in, in heaven? What a lovely question you ask. What a lovely question you ask. Please to keep the platform. Um, no, what I'm going to ask you is very simple. If the 24 yeah. elders was there before Adam and Eve sinned, it would mean that he's the all-knowing God. Yes, I know. <laughs> Tap yourself on the back. Tap yourself on the back. Yes. Well, no, but also you said in your word that if he is an all, if he is an all knowing God, then why would he be searching for someone to come and die for man? No, 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 no. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. No, no, no. Yes. I know, Mr. Sir. I the book of Revelation, Mr. At the book of Revelation, sister, when he, oh, Revelation chapter 5, okay, said he searched the heaven and searched the earth, and when he looked, okay. no one. Hold on. Okay, that's where I was going. Yes. So let me ask, so, so in heaven, would there be Jesus and God and the Holy Spirit? <laughs> Listen carefully. I'm asking that question. Then the answer me go answer now. And that is why I say, listen carefully. Because I want you hear what me go say now. Jesus is God. Jesus is the Holy Spirit. And Jesus is the Father. Now, listen carefully. So as God, when he is in heaven, he represent the, listen carefully. When in heaven, he is Jehovah God himself the same as in Jesus Christ of Nazareth right. but when he's communicating between God and man he's no Jesus of Nazareth so, so, so would you agree then that while in heaven he would be God then right he would, he would be Jesus then I'm going to repeat again I'm going to repeat again while in heaven, he is Almighty God himself. Right. While in heaven, he is Almighty God himself. When dealing with mankind, when dealing with mankind, he is no the f advocate between God and man. He is no the word which is Jesus of Nazareth. Explain to me now, further along in that same Revelation chapter 5. Yes. When when they was looking for someone in heaven to open the book, to open the seal, 
the elders are weeping and saying, boy, nobody is not even worthy to pull the book. But they are working, so they really have the Bible, and they are just pulling the Bible, so they have to go word, they have a word for it. And he said, he said, um, no one is worthy to open the book. And one of the elders said, weep not. There is someone here who is worthy to open the book, which the lion of the tribe of which was slain from the foundation of the world, right? So we all understand that Jesus Christ, the Lord that was saying, is Jesus Christ on earth. And it goes further on to say, right? It goes further on to say that he came and the so God was in the throne. So he came and took the book out of he that sat upon the throne. So while in heaven, why would you have Jesus Christ if you said Jesus and God is the same person or same being? Why would Jesus come and take the book out of God's and sit it on the throne? Ah. No, no, not easy. That, that, that seems easy. I thought he was going to ask me a hard question. I thought he was going to ask me a hard question. That is very easy. That, 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 that is very easy. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I don't know what he said to Ninja, but Ninja put me upon his path, so I'm going to put you upon his path. Spirit of Revelation, I ask that you come upon me right now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Holy One. Now, what you need to understand is very simple. The question you ask, a God himself have to answer that. Mm -hmm. Not man. But listen what the Holy One said to me right away when I asked him. So, as God, listen carefully, we're talking about a spirit being. The all-knowing God who knew everything before it happened. The Bible gave us a perfect description he predestinated the world before it happened in other words he chose who is going to be saved before it happened he already knew who was going to sin he already knew that's why he said to Abraham um, to, 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 um, to um, Jeremiah I know you while you were yet substance in other words I know you before you were a sperm Could you mute the mic for me, please, if there's a noise in the background? All right. So he said to Abraham, to, 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 um, to um, Jeremiah, I already know you while you were just sperm, substance, before you even enter your mother, me know you. Now, when somebody tell you like that, means that the person know everything about you. Now, how can you know who was going to burn and who wasn't going to burn? How do you know who was going to go into condom and go into the pit and not who was going to burn? Only God alone could do that. That's why he's called the all-knowing God. That is why he alone can be called Almighty God. Now, hear what happened. The best scripture to answer what you're saying is John chapter 1. As in St. John chapter 1. It said, In the beginning was Jehovah God sitting on his throne. Amen? And when he sat on the throne, the elders, remember God not judge nobody. Why you have the elders in heaven? Because God not judge nobody. No biblical scripture God ever judge nobody. None. Moses was the one who judged the children of Israel. Then you have David, then you have um, the rest of them. All of them. God never judge a man yet. Never. Even until today. God not judge nobody. God allow us to make our own decision. He is a rewarder, not a judge. He is a rewarder, not a judge. I explain again. He is a rewarder, not a judge. If you do good, God can't put you in hell. And if you do bad, he can't put you in heaven. What you do is what he do. What you do is what you get. Now, the reason why I say this is because I want you to understand. While he was sitting on the throne, the Bible said that in St. John chapter 1, said the spirit of truth would now take unto itself a body. That's what the spirit of truth said. He take unto himself a body. While in heaven, he was representing as God. And while in the earth, for him to come to the earth, he said, okay, I'm going to use the body of Jesus of Nazareth. And then God was now giving mankind a demonstration of what was going to take place inside the heavens and the earth. Why? So that they can approve it to release it. 
in the house of parliament in order for the bill to come true you have to now go to the senate or you have to go to the house of parliament and deliberate and say listen to me this is what we are going to put into law is if the house everybody in control everybody in arm um, in authority are you in agreement let those say ah ha pop and then tap the tail who against say nay nay and then say nay so we now vote it into being so when god said listen to me when god said that he took on the, the body of jesus he was sitting there as a spirit and he now took on the body of jesus and he showed the elders this is what i'm going to do into your world do you approve it and when the elders them say yes we approve it only then was it released in the physical world now the reason why i say this is because isaiah gave us the next picture isaiah said listen to me in isaiah 9 verse 6 isaiah said unto us a child is born jesus christ of nazareth and this physical realm him are coming to know unto us a child is born jesus christ of nazareth unto us a son is given jesus christ of nazareth and the government of earth and heaven shall be his responsibility so as god he can communicate between the both why because the spirit of god can now communicate between god and man and that is why when he was on the face of the earth listen what he said he said let thy will be done father as it is in heaven why because he want mankind to become as one of his now the reason why i say this is because of what i'm going to say next first thing we need to understand religion put god into a box religion have us to think that god is not the all-knowing god why would revelation tells us that god know we see the 12 elders which is the 12 tribe of israel and the 12 disciple judging mankind what do i mean by this you see the 12 tribe of is the 12 tribe of israel will judge the old testament you see the 12 disciple will judge the new testament so let us say you live in a long time past in a the whole testament and the 12 tribe are going to judge you was you was he a part of the body of christ yes god was he a part of the body of christ no god in the new testament no the bible said that the disciples so 212 make 24 that is how you get the 212 make 24 that is how you get the 24 elders now god in himself now gave you revelation so that you will not be lost how is it that god would give remember you know we see that genesis but didn't give us revelation for sure say i in a revelation the last book for sure which part him now choose to redeem batman how is it possible very simple because the all-knowing god knew that mankind was going to sin against him he already knew that is why genesis 2 was put in place because he already knew that satan was going to come to the earth notice what happened the bible said that god said that the spirit of darkness was cast out into the earth but in the earth god put satan god put satan in the atmosphere because ephesians 2 verse 2 said the prince of the of darkness is in the atmosphere mankind was given the earth it's because of mankind disobedience why satan reached down here that's why god said listen to me mankind i go invite satan to the earth now if god did not tell us that satan was going to come to the earth then we would have said then god couldn't warn we say satan i come to the earth but the all-knowing god already warned us each time we disobey against god each time we disobey god we open the spiritual world between god and man and the spiritual world today according to scientists it is called the black hole you see those things even scientists alone listen to me scientists tell you that there's a thing in the mercury in the galaxy you have one thing we they call the black hole that is a gateway between the spiritual world scientists tell you it is called the black hole anything we go down in the hole there never see light scientists tell you that amen Calm down. Oh, sure. Sir, Shut up. Tell me, calm down. Shut up. Why? You me not answer the question or you want me to answer it? Tell me why you want me to say. Tell me why you want me to say. Tell me why you want me to say. 
So tell me where you want me say. Tell tell me where you want me say. No, I I want to know about what I just said in Revelation mm -hmm. chapter five. Yes. Where the lamb came and took the book out of the one that was seated on the throne, and there's only God the Creator Himself, God the Father alone, can stand the throne in heaven. So if if the lamb that was slain from the foundation of the world, which is represented by Jesus Christ, is in heaven in the flesh came and took the book out of the one that seated on the throne, then how can it be then that you are saying that God is Jesus came in the flesh? Okay, let me let me let me let me let me ask you first John hold on, hold on, one more. For I think first John one verse five or five verse one says that there are three in heaven that be a record. The Father, the Word and these three are one. The one that it is talking about is not one as in one being. Same like the text that says, a man shall leave his mother and father, and they too shall become one flesh. That one flesh that is talking is not mean literally one being, but it's a unity, co-eternal unity, man and woman, combined together to make one unit. Same as God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit in heaven as one unit. I think that is the one that is in talk, that, that he is talking. Also, another one that says, Father, if let them, they, they be one. As though I are in you and you are in me. Let them be one in us as well. So are you telling me then that the one, when the Bible says we are one, it does that literally mean that they are a singular one person, but one in unity and decision making. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what a beautiful question. I love the question there. I love the question that you said. Do you believe that God cannot change? No, He cannot change. And do you believe that the God cannot lie to mankind? No. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 6. From 6 verse 4 to 9. Deuteronomy 6 from 6 to 9. Here where verse 6 said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord, our God, the Lord is one. You said three. God say one. Yeah, but the one that is talking about him. Uh, okay, go ahead. God says one. Not three. One. Now, what I want people to understand is very simple. Question. May I go take it a little bit personal? Here we have a man talking to me right now, which is Ninja. Yes? Okay. According to the scripture, Ninja was created into the image of God. Ninja is first spirit, body, and ninja of a soul. Three different character in a one body. Spirit, soul, and body. This is the same example as Almighty God. One God. Three different character. When he is in a heaven, he is Jehovah God. When dealing with mankind and God, he is Jesus of Nazareth. When dealing with mankind and God, he is also the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. Who is Jesus of Nazareth? The Comforter. Who is the Father? The Comforter, Jesus of Nazareth. Who is Almighty God? Jesus of Nazareth. Let me go further. In Acts chapter... Now, first thing you need to understand is very simple. Let us go to the Bible. In the book of Isaiah chapter 42 verse 8. Isaiah 42 said, verse 8 said, God will not share his glory with anybody. So may I make sure I eliminate everything. God will not share his glory with anybody or anyone, whether in a heaven or in a earth. God will not share his glory with anybody. Let us go back and hear what the Bible said. 
Sorry. Let us go back. I hear what the Bible said. According to the Bible. Amen. According to the Bible. You hear me, ninja? Okay. According to the scripture. Hear we say um um something they say no. Hear we. I need you to write down the scripture here. I need you to write down the scripture here. Acts 22 verse 8 Saul was persecuting the church Saul was now called Peter and he's giving his testimony hear what Peter said a voice came from the heavens talking to me because God is a personal God and when I answer the voice notice what he said who are you Lord and he used a big letter L capital letter L O R so he might ask who are you Jehovah God and the voice came back from heaven of all the place out of heaven the voice came back and said I am Jesus of Nazareth whom thou persecutest now that in itself tell you who almighty God is now if you don't know your name if nobody has no know your name, you must know your name. And if nobody has no know me, me must know my name. So Jehovah God is telling us, listen to me. In the Old Testament, I am called Jehovah God. But in the New Testament, I am called Jesus of Nazareth. That's what he said. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. Amen. Amen. Now, what I want people to understand, you see, those who are here, who are only religious, can't understand this deep revelation. Will never understand this deep revelation. Will, listen to me. Will never understand this deep revelation. And that is why the Bible said, many are called. Only few will understand the mystery of God. That's what the Bible said. Amen. The reason why I can talk like this definitively is because I was a sorcerer. Jamaican said, Obey man, listen to me. Satan is afraid of nothing but the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Satan is not afraid of our Bible because we saw him toe to toe with Jesus in a Matthew. If you do this, if you do that, he was actually using Jesus, which is the word against Jesus. When me used to do witchcraft, Obia, me used to use the Bible. Every Obia man used the Bible. So Satan is not afraid of the Bible. He is not afraid of the church. Because in the book of St. John chapter 9, um, St. John chapter 1, no, not St. John, Mark chapter 1, verse 23, we saw him inside the church, inside of a man, inside the church. So Satan afraid of the church. In fact, Satan take over the church in the book of Job. Job chapter 1, 6. Satan invade the church and take over the church. Amen. That's why Jesus came here. And when Jesus turned and said, listen to me. My house is a house of prayer. But you allow Satan to take it over. Come out of my church. And that's why you have the two extra cross. Because when God, Jesus of Nazareth came here. Notice what Jesus Christ of Nazareth said. My house is a house of prayer. And then he said, you turn it in. How could God be claiming the church? How could Jesus be claiming the church as his own if he wasn't God? And we missed it. We are the one who missed it. Jesus said, my house is a house of prayer. But you have make it a den of thief. Why do you think the, 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 the church people them get rid of him? Because he's claiming the very church where them take as them business place to be his. That's why they kill Jesus, you know. You think they kill Jesus because he claimed to be the son of God? He claimed to be God himself. That's why they kill him. Amen. If he was saying that he's the son of God, they would have accepted him and call him, okay, you are the son of God. You are just an ex-prophet. They would have accepted him. But when Jesus said, I am that I am, what did God tell Moses to tell the people? Him? I am that I am. And Jesus, uh, when 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 um, Pilate asked the question, Are you the Messiah? 
Hear what Jesus said. I am. <laughs> Are you God? I am. Everything. Everything. Makes sense when you understand the realm of the spirit. Amen. So with all that said and done. Let us ask Satan who God is. So we, 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 we are mankind. So we might make mistake. So let us ask Satan who God is. So the two scriptures we want you to write down, ninja, is Acts 22 verse 8. So that is Paul's account. And Paul could be telling lie. So let us ask Satan who God is. So you know, say so can ask Satan who God is. Of course, you can ask Satan who God is. In Mark chapter one, in the most tell you the truth, but he will give you an idea who God is. But in the most tell the truth, God, he must spirit a lie. Amen. Let us go to Mark chapter one. For you really just bigots who are here. If you tell me that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is not God, the next thing you're going to tell me is that woman cannot preach the gospel. Because anybody who believes that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is not God, they are going to tell you now, say, woman can't preach the gospel. Here is the Bible, the Holy Bible. And for those of you, are the same King James Version. Eh? The old King James Version. The original King James Version. Now, Listen in Mark chapter 1, verse 23. And there was in their synagogue. Synagogue means church or a place of worship. And there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit. Unclean spirit today is called demons. So, and there in their spirit, in their church, for those of you, listen to me, on this platform, we break down everything amen and there was in their church a man with an unclean spirit listen carefully and verse 24 said and the spirit cried out leave us alone what the spirit was actually saying the spirit was saying leave me alone come in i have nothing to do with you come here the spirit of darkness and leave mankind alone come mankind you give mankind the church and mankind take the church, sublet it out to me. So leave the two away alone. When I was in heaven, me not have nothing to do with you. When mankind was in the garden, he not have nothing to do with you. Leave the two away alone. The question I therefore ask, how did mankind end up giving relinquishing this right to Satan, make Satan have the authority to be telling God to leave mankind alone? How did we end up there? Because of our disobedience. So Satan was actually telling God, leave me a mankind alone. Come I me a mankind master now. So leave them alone. Leave them alone. Jesus of Nazareth turned and said, listen to me. This is Bible. Jesus Christ of Nazareth turned and said, listen to me. Hear what the devil now said. Leave us alone. What have we to do with thee? Thou Jesus of Nazareth. Listen what the devil call him. Thou Jesus of Nazareth. Listen what the devil say after. Art thou come to destroy us? I tell you, say, the only thing Satan is afraid of is the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And that's why some of the church people, when you not pray, you no can't get deliverance, you no can't get breakthrough, because you no not using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And that's the problem. And that's the problem. When you're not praying, you're not using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And that is why we're in so much mess. When I was in the dark world, I used to use the name of Jesus and Jesus Christ to cast spell upon people. Amen. And when I got deliverance, it's the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that delivered me. Somehow we are read and somehow we don't have no understanding because we have we don't have the spirit of God inside of us. And so who no can understand what me I say? Even do what me I show in the Bible. Who no can understand what me I say? Listen carefully. Listen what happened now. And then Jesus of Nazareth, here we one. Here was Jesus. Here was Satan said now. You are Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But it did not stop there. Here was Satan said. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Listen carefully. First thing we need to understand, me go in there now because TikTok flat me. Him no want me put up nobody else, so then I get, me have the, me have the platform, then take it for a platform for me. Amen. That means I must come off now. TikTok want me come off now. So I will come off. But for those of you who are on the live, listen to me carefully. You ever pray and can get breakthrough? You come like you can't see no breakthrough? You ever pray and it look like you can't get no breakthrough? And all you ever, God, you don't hear me. God, you don't hear me. Follow the Bible. Follow biblical principle. If you should, oh, somebody say restart. Okay, so if I restart, everybody come back. Okay, I'm going to restart then. All right? Okay, restart. I'm going to restart on TikTok. So, I'm going to restart and you guys can come back. Alright, fine. Because what I want people to understand is that you can get your own breakthrough. You don't need no past of it. Give your breakthrough. Breakthrough is between you and God. Breakthrough is between you and God. Not between you, God, and man. Between you and God. And that is why the Bible said you are a royal priesthood. Why? Because me give you the opportunity to come to me directly. I don't want nobody to carry you before me. That's what God said. When peace like a river attended my way, when sorrow like sea pillows roll, whatever my lot, God, you have taught me to say it is well. It is well with my soul. It is well. Hallelujah. It is well with my soul. Amen. 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 Going again. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen.